Hello, I'm playing a game called Tangle Tower. The art style is cute, and I think it's a genre I like, and Edwin Tiong is in this game, so that's why I'm playing it. I like the colors. It's pretty. Sally? Edwin Tiong! We're more, I've been standing here for seven and a half minutes. Oh, I'm actually not Just listening checking. to it. I'm listening to the music in that's, a. That's my, my understandable. Music. You have the map? I don't want to get distracted uh, yeah, and want to pay attention. I gotta work. Blank. Did you read the case file? What do you think? I'm not sure yet. It's really not a lot to go on. Did you read it? Is that Amber? Yeah, I'll read it <laughs> on the way to the crime scene. Murder victim, Freya Fellow, 19, died whilst painting a portrait of Flora Fellow, 58. Location, Flora's Tower. Flora was present as she was posing for a portrait. Freya was found lying on her back with a single stab wound on her chest. No weapon was found at the scene, but the suspect, uh, the subject of Freya's unfinished painting is holding a knife. The red color on the tip of the knife is not paint. It was discovered to be blood. Oh, oh, her neck? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Chantilly skin ass. It's the paint, I tell you. How was she killed? Okay. These are some Strangle. notes. More like Strangle Tower. Oh, okay. <laughs> Rainwater? Looks a little weird. The birds seem to like it. They're even singing a little tune. Please don't do that. Is that Amber? It sounds like Amber. I'm gonna look it up. Tangle Tower IMDB. No. I want Tangle Tower, not Triangle Tower. They're not tricky towers either, those bastards. Son of a bitch. Yeah, it's Amber. Okay. Friend spotted. So Ooh, I like the did it. I like the choir in the background of this song. <sighs> Sally, you know full well we haven't met a single suspect yet. We haven't even been to the crime scene. Oh, thanks for subscribing. Oh, you've subscribed for eight months? Please don't. Uh, thank you, but subscribe to my Patreon instead. You don't get any rewards from doing it here, and Twitch doesn't give me very much money, so. Still, I reckon I've got it all worked out. The ground's moist, but it's not muddy. What are often the rains here? I cannot believe how exciting this murder investigation is already. <laughs> Uh, I think I might actually try to play this with a mouse and keyboard. It immediately feels like it's made for that and not a controller. Mm. Oh yeah, the it's so much tinier. It's just an archway, but it seems a little ominous. Wow, I'm surprised how much I can click. Like walking through it might give you bad luck. Too late. What are they? Wind chimes. Silent wooden wind chimes. Rocks. <laughs> Fascinating. Aren't they? <laughs> I tied the boat up to the mooring post, so it'll stay put for now. Probably. Loving the confidence. That's the little boat we used to cross the lake. It's the only way on or off the island. What a comforting thought. It's a garden, I think. It's currently far away. Uh, we could walk closer to it. Ready when you are. Ooh! Oh, I love this! Look at our oh, tiny cool. wiggly map sprites! Ooh! Ooh! Fancy! 
fancy. This is very pretty. It's a, it's a bandstand. It's small for a bandstand. It's a one-man bandstand. <laughs> it's a statue of some hideous, scaly, bipedal fish monster. Playing a harp. Playing a harp. Hang on a second. Oh, there's a puzzle this here. isn't just a regular statue, is it? Something tells me we're not going to solve this just yet. Let's come back later. It must do something. You'd hope so, right, wouldn't you? Labels. Oh, okay. Neat. And it's full of the same weird water that was in the lake. Any fish in there? Not a single one. Although there is something in there. It's a cassette tape. Or it used to be. Are you staring at me again? The first game is really cute, but the se there's a first game? Oh, I didn't know this was a it's sequel. Any fish in there? Not a single one. Oh, there is. It's a cassette. Or it used cool. to be. Is this a sequel? Because I'll, I'll go play the first one first. It's a stone carving. Wonder how it got cracked. I think it's supposed to look like that. It's an egg. There are three. Oh. Oh, goodness. Fuck. Are they all this pretty? What animal is that? Do they all have Edwin Tiong? Hawk. Bear. Lizard. Right. Of course. A hawk bear lizard. Oh, shit. Uh... Swamp. I only played this one. Yeah, but if this one's the most recent, then I don't want to play it first. Because usually that means it's better than the other two, at least mechanically. Uh, hang on. This is very interesting music. I'm about it. Okay, let's see. Tangle Tower. Can I look at the person who made this game? Store page, maybe? There we go. It's from Sifub Games. What other games have you made, Sifub Games? Sifub? Tangle Tower. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, okay. The last one came out in 2014, and it looks, like, significantly older and new groundsier. So, yeah, I'm, I'm good to just okay. stick with this one. I see. It looks new groundsier. That's why Edwin Tiong is playing the main character. A flash game. I, yeah, I don't think this one's a flash game. This one's very pretty. This is some garden. Do the plants all look a little strange to you? I should probably find the inciting incident. This is some garden. Do the plants all but I can always click on mushrooms. It's not soil, it's stone. Oh. What? Oh, there's an <clears> O <throat> on the floor. Oh yeah, Tangle Twer. Twer. <laughs> Little bird feeders. How do you know they're for birds? Should we ring the doorbell? Why would we not? It's a little melody. Oh no. Is there gonna be a music puzzle? Should we uh -oh. why would we not? It's a little melody. Is that an envelope? It's been opened. But the letter's still in there. Let's read it. Isn't that an invasion of someone's privacy? Oh, definitely. <laughs> the combination is drawn on the other sheet. Once you have memorized it, destroy it. I do not agree with your reasons. You will not find it down there. Okay. A path leading towards the stone square. Do you think he'll start to move if we try to go inside? No, I think he'll just silently judge us. Why build a house here anyway? I'm sure they have their reasons. Don't think it's locked. Oh, that means we can just walk straight in, right? I'm pretty sure that's the rule, yeah. Let's 
let's head to the crime scene first. It's at the top of the West Tower, I think. Ooh, this is gonna hurt my hands. Oh, boy. Here we go. Finally, we get to investigate a murder in a spooky mansion. It's not that spooky, really. Don't ruin this. <laughs> now it's a big glass tube filled with Let water. Let me just open there up my chest. There. Wow. And sand. It's an aquarium? It could be. Oh, the various Except names there's nothing that living I should in it remember, but I don't. Anymore. Finally, we get Excellent. to ruin this. It's not locked. Sally, check those plants for clues. Is soil a clue? A big letter F. Of course. Who doesn't hang a giant banner of their initial in the lobby of their mansion? What is that? I think it's a family tree. Oh, God. Dark be like. I'm not paying attention. I'm sorry. You gotta. You gotta suffer by yourself, my dude. That's fine. It's just a big family tree. Oh, I see it. Oh God. Oh boy. The uh, the cutesy fonts are like nice, but also they make it much harder to immediately parse what's being written here. Okay. So there's three families. The yellow one. Uh-huh. Remington's Fiona died. This did not work. I am disappointed. Oh, God, and some of them have, like... Oh, wow, that's confusing. Okay, I don't... Oh, try clicking. It's not a bad Clint idea. Fellow. A purebred fellow married a randomer, though. Do you think he still lives here? Married a randomer. Felix Fellow. Looks like he married his way. Do you think he still lives here? Uh, this... I'll, I'll figure them out as I meet them. It's fine. <laughs> I love the map icons. Whoa. I love that lady's energy. Hey, Siv, check out this character. Oh, hair! Let's take a look at that painting first. I feel like we should probably address the person before poking around, but you do you, man. There it is. The unfinished portrait of Flora Fellow. So, what? Freya was killed halfway through painting it? Looks that way. Freya was unable to finish the painting, and she died sometime during the process. Flora appears to be wielding a knife. The red substance on the tip was discovered to be blood. I wonder if all of Freya's paintings are this freebie. Maybe it's just because she never got to finish it. There's something wrong with the crime scene, and something really weird about the murder weapon. We didn't find a murder weapon. Oh. Okay, interesting. Uh, oh boy, what are my options? Paintbrush is completely covered in blood because it stabbed Freya. The paintbrush is completely covered in blood because it stabbed Freya. Nope. Okay. It's the paintings. Because Freya was going to eat it. Okay. Let's try something else then. Flora's portrait is holding a knife tipped with blood, but it was removed from the scene. Almost. Maybe just change one thing. Okay. Laura's portrait. Almost. Maybe just change one thing. Laura's portrait is holding a knife tipped with blood because it stabbed Freya. What? Weird, huh? 
You think Freya was stabbed by a painting, not by the woman from the painting, but by the painting itself. Mm-hmm. Freya was standing right up by the canvas when she was killed. There's blood on the knife. It's the murder weapon. Right, but it's not actually a knife. It can't stab. See any other knives around here? Case closed. The case is not closed. And even if you were right, where does that leave us? A painting can't be a murder suspect. Not sure how I feel about the wiggliness of some of the portraits when they're like up close, but I love uh, I love how they look when they're tiny. And the character designs are really cute. Hello, miss. Oh, that's a great design. Hello. Oh Siv, my goodness. Siv, look at this She's one. She's made of paper. Sorry, I'm sure you're still in some distress. We need to hmm, ask you Yes, a my hair is a fish. Did you witness the murder, Flora? Nothing. What do we do? Not sure. She's entitled to her silence, I suppose. For now. Oh boy, what? Oh. Okay. I see the neck is inherited. Genetic. Flora. Hey. I'm sure you're still. Oh, okay. Do you witness nothing? What do we do? Not sure. She's in time now. Yourself. Is there anything you'd like to tell us, Flora? Ooh. I don't really know anything about you at all. I think that's the way she likes it. We'll just have to ask other people about her. Yeah. Okay. Freya was painting your portrait yesterday. Was this something you had... Was there something special? Did you talk to Freya at all while she was... She's not going to answer us, is she? Nope. But at least we can say we tried. Flora, you were definitely in the room at the time of the murder. Surely you must have seen something? Can you tell me anything about what happened to Freya? <laughs> nah, she's acting pretty... Pretty suspicious, if you ask me. I don't know. Maybe she really doesn't know anything. <laughs> Will How in is chat. Is that a golden egg encrusted with many gems? It sure is, Will. Were you close with Freya? Oh, you can ask are you two people about each other. Did you kill Freya? Invasive. Grimoire. What? I don't even think she's listening. Fuck. Oh, she's listening. Okay. Did you ask Freya to paint this, or was it her idea? What is that you're holding in the paint? Some people have been saying it's a knife. Okay, I don't think I can do anything with this woman just yet, so... Is that a gramophone? I think so, except it's got a tape deck instead of a turntable. And it's also got a big crack down the middle. It plays cassette tapes instead of vinyl records. I kind of love that, actually. It's pointed towards the middle of the room. There's a noticeable crack running through it, all the way from the horn down through the tape deck. Okay. What about the cassette tape? Yeah, it sure is. I think. The cassette tape has a crack down the middle. There is a handwritten message on the label to Freya. Looks delicious. Do you think it still works? A gramophone? Yeah, we could give it a go. Okay, how do I, uh...
this one work? Sounds like corrupted ambient outdoor recording. Weird. It's someone humming a tune. Is it? Oh, there it is. Cool. Okay. Neat. Okay. Let's look at Will's egg. egg. An egg with bird feet. It's also covered in gemstones. What a completely ordinary object. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say anything else. No, okay. Who's that it's egg? What a completely ordinary I think it's a container for something. Those gems look like they come off. Oh, okay. Interesting. I'm also like, every time there's an interactable, I like to s like flip it back and forth and like see how they do things in the graphic design. Mm. Okay. Uh. Nope. Did you check the clue on the back? I'm pretty sure it explains where to put each of the gemstones. Oh. Okay, is it upside down? Am I? Oh, there it go. Okay. I was trying to figure this out, and I was like, having some, having a struggle. What? There we go. Eating a bubble. Having a struggle and eating a bubble. Ow, ow. Ow, ow. Uh. Um, I think this should be green. Maybe? I don't know. Oh, I guess not all of them matter? That's really strange. Okay. Uh, well, this one's also blue. This one's purple. Ugh. I guess it's more just their relative position? Interesting. Green. Yellow. Poiple. Poiple. Oh, wait, there's two poiples. Shit. Uh. Poiple. Hmm. No, that's not quite right either. Okay. So, the only, uh. The only, like. Oh, okay, I'm dumb. I At first I thought this very distinctive shape was the only thing and the rest were just kind of in that pattern. I'm, I'm stupid. That's not it at all. All right. Well, that's fixable. All right, we got this then. That one's done. So then there's uh, this wiggly boy. Uh, this is supposed to be purple. This is supposed to be yellow. Okay, and then there's the one with the big box. Yeah. Uh, that's green and yellow. Hook is green. This one's yellow. So the yellows are done then. Uh, this one should be purple. This one should be red. Wait, no. This one should be red. It was right. Wait, I got. What the fuck am I doing? Sorry, I I like approached this the wrong way, and my one track brain is not doing this procedurally right. Yeah, I'll ask for hints when I need them. Don't worry, I'm not shy about doing that. This is doable. I'm just stupid, um, and I I can like I can solve this. I'm just dumb. So give me a second. Okay, then you got this thick crooked one. Here, tell you what. Let's start from this red one and go around because uh, otherwise I'm going to keep flipping them into different positions. So clockwise, this guy. Uh, that is almost correct. This should go here. Then next we've got this pink one. So that one should be, I think, red. Yeah. Yep, yeah, red. Green. 
Okay. Uh, the next is this guy. There's a long, thin one like that. So that's pink. And the other end of that is also pink, actually. Okay. Um, then that one I already did. This one I may have already done. Yeah, I did that already. Okay, then we got our box. That one's already done. Pink. Am I am I done? Is this it? No, that was it. Yeah. Nice work. There we go. Did it unlock? Nothing. Nothing? Well, I'm not leaving without a clue. And empty eggs are clue, right? <laughs> okay. Outline of Freya Fellow. There's a single patch of blood. No real sign. That's weird. What? Her feet were right up by the canvas. So? So she was probably standing really close to the canvas when she Let's fell. Let's check the case file again. Oh. Yeah, that is strange. The out There's a single what? Her feet were so? so she was probably standing. Let's check the case file again. Do I... Is there like a concrete... Wise words from you. What? I said wise words from you. What were her words? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that's weird that she got stabbed from the front if she was right in front of the painting then. Other than she being stabbed by the painting. But, uh, I don't know how to Freya indicate was that. Looks like she was still Didn't even get a chance to clean her brush. Oh, that's supposed to be black. It's the lighting. Supposed didn't even get a chance to clean her brush. Man, I I love Edwin and Amber's voices. This is really it feels like a break playing a game that's fully voiced with good voice acting and just listening yeah. to it. Yeah, we're at the top of the tower, right? I think so. finally we don't Why? have to work, Jello. Doesn't matter. It's nothing. Half the room is a big open window. I don't know if you can call it an open window. It's more like the sudden absence of wall. It's so dark back there. Somehow the sunlight doesn't seem to be making it very well. The whole room is a strange... Yeah, there might be a reason for that. A bunch of old books. Covered in dust now, but they look well read. pot plant balanced on the window ledge it's the only plant in the entire room uh okay that's the only it's also sure is yes, <laughs> okay let's uh let's look around I bet these bookshelves are a puzzle. A book on the floor. Fundamental entomology. Hmm. I guess somebody dropped it. What's entomology? Uh, entomology is like the origins of a word. Okay. The root of a word. I always get it mixed up with the bug one, which I think is entomology. entomology? It's an illustrated book about birds. That's oh, well, open. well, in that case, Looks yeah, like I think entomology is it. the bug one, and then etymology is the word one. Okay. Or it was left open for us to find. Ever so slightly unnerving. The ink dip is a remarkably intelligent bird with a very long lifespan, even among avian mystids. Other birds are often aggressive towards it, and the ink dip lives most of its life alone. It has particular feeding habits and usually only eats the seeds of the Tantum Amica. Picture. Okay. That looks like the plant that was potted up on the, uh, the roof. Also, it's got a feather, which has a distinctive... Th okay, so the painting is her holding this thing's feather. Curious. I would expect bacteria of that nature to thrive in these conditions. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Taking all the environmental factors into account, there must be something I am still missing. This character's design looks like a... Ah, real monsters character who doesn't look like shit. Uh, may I 
talk hmm. to you? Miss? She knows we're here. She just doesn't care. I am a detective, and I need to talk to you. Correction. You do not need to talk to me. Oh, no? Because I am not a suspect. I am completely innocent of any and all crimes. Thanks for letting me know. Speaking of which, you have now been at Tangle Tower for over 23 minutes. Surely you have already reached a sturdy hypothesis. A hypothesis? About the murder? Yeah, come on, Grimoire, hurry up. <laughs> My apologies. Unfortunately, protocol dictates I must at least meet all the suspects. And that includes you. So, uh, could you tell me your name? Fifi Bella, microbiologist, inventor, innovator. You will need to be more specific. One's self cannot be summarized in a single response without doing one a great disservice. So true. Well, first of all, you're a fellow. So does that make you the daughter of... Correct. My father and mother are named Flora and Felix, but you need not question either of them. It will only waste valuable time. Neither of them are capable of murder. Thanks for the tip. Fifi, you said you were a micro... something or other? Microbiologist. But it is an insignificant label. My studies cannot be categorized in any one recognized field. What made you want to become a scientist in the first place? I harbor an intrinsic fascination with the microscopic. I constructed my first one at age 10. Constructed a microscope? Correct. And what's that thing on your head? My eyesight began to deteriorate when I turned 12. Not satisfied with the eyeglasses prescribed to me, I designed this custom lens instead. It automatically adjusts based on the surrounding light conditions. Does it glow red when you get angry? No, but that would be most amusing. <laughs> what can you tell me about the murder? What can you tell me about... That's Wait. what I'm supposed to ask you. Messing around with the volume. However, you were too slow. You fancy yourself a detective too, Fifi. I just need to know what happened. Me too. So talk. Fine. I knew ahead of time that Freya was going to be busy with her painting all day, so I had planned to spend the afternoon with Poppy. I was in the library all morning preparing the equipment oh, for an experiment, only to find out that Poppy had made other plans and she was never in fact planning to ignore me completely. Oh. So what did you do instead? I locked myself in my room and cried. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Why? I don't know. It just sounds kind of sad. It is not unusual. Oh. Good. I was in my room. The lights were off and the oh, door was Oh, thank you on. for the map. Someone began banging on the door. I ignored it until the someone began shouting at me. I opened the door. Poppy came into my room. Ooh. The makeup was leaking. Look at this. Look at these two. Like Trixie split into two halves <laughs> right here. She told me Freya was dead. I did not believe it. I thought she was playing a trick on me, so I punched Little her in the face. Lips. She insisted that we go up to Flora's tower. We left the room, and Poppy's father was waiting outside. He followed. When I saw Freya lying on the floor, I was completely and utterly devastated. Then I took a sample of the red paint on the unfinished painting. Poppy and I took the sample back downstairs to the library. We performed a test and found out that it was, in fact, mm -hmm. blood. You performed that scientific test immediately, even though you were... Of course. Why would one affect the other? Okay. Fifi's bedroom should be unlocked now. Can't wait. Books about space. They're relatively untouched. Books about insects. Well... Theoretically, there's not a single book on that shelf. Huh. Books about geography. <laughs> Are the Star Wars prequels canon and epithet erased? No. Sorry, guys. Skip. Books about ancient history, I think. These books are ancient history. I think they'd crumble into dust if I tried to pick them up. Good excuse. Thanks. Books about nature? Books about birds. The shelves are about half empty. Oh, so you're a the shelves are half empty kind of person. You knew this already. <laughs> sure. Why not build a science lab in the corner of the library? 
The search for new knowledge, the archiving of old knowledge. It's downright poetic. God, I love Amber's voice. You know where else you can hear Amber Lee Connors is as snow and combatants will be dispatched. Hmm. <laughs> a chalkboard. Is this a library or a classroom? Though she sounds much different than that. Okay. Oh, God. I don't... Any idea what this means? Not a clue. Math. Don't look at them for too long. You'll give yourself a headache. Yeah, I'll take I'm that I'm not sure advice. I learned anything from that. I'm gonna ignore that for now. Uh, what's in those bottles? I'm not sure. Soil samples? Okay. Actually, real quick. What is Fifi's relation to the what victim? Is, I think it's a family tree. Okay, Fifi. Mm -hmm. Where is Fifi on here? I don't see her. Am I blind? Freya Fellow. The murder victim. She's barely related to the main family at all. Fifi is Fiona. Oh, okay. So, uh, they are... Oh, they are basic. They're almost not related. This is such a weird family tree. Okay, it's like so stylized as to the point of almost uselessness. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so Freya, parent, grandparent, uncle. Okay, they're cousins. Interesting. Selena Stonetop. No family line. Apparently, she just appeared out of nowhere. Okay, sure. Stairs. A new suspect. Don't think you can get out being questioned just because you're a bear. <laughs> I'm innocent, I promise. Save it for the judge. It's extremely cute. <laughs> it's a magnifying glass. A big one. How come you don't have one of those? Why? Because I'm a detective? Should I start smoking a pipe, too? You can pull out the pipe. <laughs> He's, like, actually disappointed. Homemade posters. This one's about the Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras. Ah, I've not heard of that band. Are they any good? Crystal chandeliers. Extra fancy. I don't know. They just seem old-fashioned to me. Plus, they're kind of dusty. Fifi's got something pinned up here. What is all this? Okay. Maybe this is related to that terrifying thing. All right. Here's us. This is Grimoire. This is, uh, Amber. <laughs> Uh, hair lady, Groucho Marx, Poppy, Chunk, Bookman, Civ character, and Bookman is also attached to bacon hair, so. Is Fifi trying to solve Maybe. Did you ever try that? Maybe it works. Did you notice who isn't on here? Freya? Mm-hmm. And Fifi herself. That was an achievement? Okay. It looks like a microscope. Can I touch it? I feel like we probably shouldn't. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm not sure this is a microscope. Horizontally slide the four magnifying glass. position. Ah, Oh, this is kind of cute, actually. <laughs> okay. Funny little puzzle. What a funny little man. Interesting. Mm. That's almost right. Wonder how finicky this is gonna be. That's the one. Nice. Hey, not bad. 
Okay, that's a cute puzzle. Sounds like it unlocked. Yeah, it's built on top of a little metal box. There's a book in here. Secret diary. It's locked with a metal device. Okay. A pretty ornate window with a great view of the lake. We're supposed to be looking for clues, not... And over here, you'll see the owner's used sheets of paper to block out all that unnecessary natural light. A simple trick, but it really transforms the space. Boxes of stuff. It's a bed. Barely. I don't know what that drink is, but I bet it's 99% sugar. I'd read you the ingredients, but there's nothing written on the can. That's even worse. <laughs> What's that big book on the desk? Looks like something Fifi's been writing. Is it a clue? I hope not. It's just a bunch of notes about her microbiology experiments. That's a whole lot of books. Okay. Let's try this room. Ah, uh, love the palette in here. Warm. A painting is really something. Why would you want it looming over your bed like that? Maybe Freya enjoy the atmosphere it creates. The atmosphere of chaos and oppression? Hang on, there is a smaller version down by the floor. It's a photograph. Okay. there looks pretty depressed he's had a rough couple of days do you think this was always supposed to be a bedroom i don't know it is kind of a weird shape no windows either ew do you think this was always I don't no know. windows either it's a fish i think i think it looks more like a whale fine it's a whale could also be a shark painting supplies brushes Pencils. I would love to record like uh, for a game like this at some point. They're clean, but they look mm. pretty well used. Brushes, pencils. They're clean, but I wonder if this was recorded before the art or vice versa. I imagine probably before the art. It's a little glass box. I think it's a vivarium. Come again. See the leaves and twigs in there. I think it's supposed to be a vivarium, right? Might have been for Am keeping insects. I can't trust any pronunciation after Pythagoras or whatever they said for Pythagoras. Pythagoras? Not the kind of yeah. I choose for my bedroom, but fair enough. It's cool. Looks like old mining equipment or something. It was before they did the animation timing to the art. Miss Freya's bed. A little bit messy. It's a perfectly healthy amount of messy. It's mostly parts of the music, but I'm getting some Wolf Among Us vibes. Getting a lot of hmm. boss baby Freya's vibes plants. from this. They must not need some. Freya's plants. They must not need There's no natural light. I like it. Do you think this was always I don't no know. windows either? Okay. A painting. Why? Maybe Freya. Yes. Hang on. There is a small. It's a photograph. Okay, we got this photograph already. That I love that. I love how that looks. Drawings. What's that one on the left? Looks like two people. Stand. One of them's holding a red rose. <laughs> a drawing of a man standing with a woman in a garden. He's holding a red rose. A drawing of Fifi. A drawing of a person wearing a cloak. Oh, hang on. There's one more thing in here. A pillow with a paw print pattern. It's a cushion. Yeah, but that doesn't alliterate. Even though we're halfway Someone's up. been tracking in mud from outside. Oh. Sir? Can you hear me? I'm Private Detective Grimoire. I have some questions for you. Grimoire. Good mysterious name. <laughs> I'd rather like it. Felix Fellow at your beck and call. And, uh, 
this is my colleague, Sally. Yeah, that's a perfectly good name as well. Thanks. If you would, Mr. Fellow, we really need to ask you about the murder. I must say, I'm rather jealous of you two. Oh, yeah? Why's that? Out here solving mystery, uncovering secret rooms, hidden treasures. That's what life is all about. Secret rooms? Uh, generally speaking, you know, that sort of thing. So, Felix, what exactly do you, uh, do? Is it not obvious? I'm an explorer. Explorer slash treasure hunter. Yes, well, best in the world. We're talking like curse statues, spike pits. Uh, it's a little more sophisticated than that. But I've certainly seen my share of danger, if that's what you're asking. And, uh, if I may ask, uh, when did you retire? Uh, you listen here. <laughs> I may be between the ventures right now, but it's simply not in my nature to stay in one place for too long. I go wherever the winds of destiny take me. Don't you live here with your wife and daughter? Yes, well, it's, uh, the fellow family has certain loyalties. And with uh, Flora the way she is... Uh... Nothing wrong with raising a family, Mr. Fellow. <clears throat> Don't misunderstand me. Fiona and Flora are my entire world. They are the greatest treasure of all. Uh-huh. Why on earth would you want to know about that? The murder of Freya Fellow. The reason we're here. Ah, oh, right. Uh, nasty business. <clears throat> I, I regret that I... Hear that grimoire? We're done here. Let's go. It's a simple question, Felix. Well, I'm sure you're up to it. Yeah, I just... It's... Well, there's not much to tell. Uh, mostly, I was in my room by myself, uh, working on Flora's... Uh, uh, working uh, on a project. Your room is quite close to Flora's tower. You didn't hear anything unusual? Uh, what qualifies as unusual? What have you got? <laughs> it was dusk. A feeling lingered in the air. Malevolent? Perhaps. A bridged version, please. Right. Fine. I heard someone heading down the stairs. Now, just outside my room, the footsteps were calm, orderly, so I thought nothing of it. Shortly afterward, I heard a second set of footsteps going the same way. This time I could tell just from the sound that something was wrong. So I looked I got a glimpse of Poppy disappearing down the staircase to the floor below and didn't know what to make of it. To be honest, I thought perhaps she'd had a disagreement with Fitz, as I know those two are close. So I looked into his room, uh, just in case, uh, but it was empty. As was the garden back in the hallway, I bumped into a very concerned-looking Penelope. She was heading up Fellow Tower to find Professor Pointer, so I escorted her. We went into Flora's room. Poor Freya was laying on the floor. Fiona, Poppy, Pitts, and Pointer were there already. Flora, too, of course. <laughs> Soon enough, everyone else made their excuses and left. Including you? Not I. <laughs> I stayed. Flora needed me. <laughs> it's really cute that he wakes up for like three frames when you click him. Commonly skilled as an artist, but Freya was so much as she helped me get started with my own. She taught me what she knew about tremendous patience. She was ever so good with Freya and Flora were close. Oh, yes, especially after, uh, especially recently. How are you related to Freya? Somewhat distantly, as it happened. My father, Lord Fellow, was her grandfather. Uh, technically, uh, let's just say. Maybe there was some discussion over whether she ought to carry the name at all. There's a family tree in the ground. What about her inheritance? Freya's parents died when she was around. She came to live here shortly. Nobody left her a thing? I'm afraid not. She had no form. Okay. My daughter Fiona, our little burgeoning genius. <laughs> You've met her? We did. She's going by Fifi. So I've heard. I asked her some weeks ago. 
What's wrong with your real name? She told me. <laughs> Get this. She wanted a name with an even number of syllables. <laughs> what makes you think she made that up? I happen to know the real... Oh, yeah? It's what Freya called her. Dearest Flora, a remarkable woman. <laughs> you two still get on? Of course. What a question. She hasn't gone quiet on you. It's true. She has an independent streak. She's the youngest of three. Just well, we... the way she is. Lone Wolf is putting it lightly. She does. She just uh, likes time to. Other us. humans? Other. Well, yes. Uh, uh, other people. That's a massive conch shell. Do you think there's a little crab living inside? I hope so. It's a magic lamp. Can we summon the genie? If we get really stuck, sure. <laughs> Puffer fish? Yes, it's also a lamp. For some reason. A lot of redundant light sources in here. It's Earth. If Earth was made of paper and gave off a gentle pink light. Nice. A real treasure chest. How do you know there's treasure in there? Why else would it be locked? Plus, there's a treasure map hanging directly above it. What's the deal with that painting on the front? Not sure. We should check that treasure map, too. Oh, boy. Oh, goodness. Okay. So we got a sea dragon. We got a palm tree in the distance. We got a... Uh, a rock. I mean, my gut would it's say it's E3. this one. It's E3. E3. Or E3 or I4. I, yeah, I, I think it's... I think it's I4. I'm just looking because I, I saw that immediately. So I'm like, I don't usually solve shit immediately. I guess there's no reason not to try it. What's the... Oh, there's a direction pad, too. What? Uh, not sure what that's for. All right. Oh, north, I guess. Yeah, it's indicating what the way it's facing. Try it. Nothing. Okay. Did you check the hand? What about that painting? Okay. Yeah, it feels like it would be further from there. Um, yeah, try. I don't know what else it would be. That Check two things really quick. Still locked. I think like they're different versions. Oh, the hints changed. Let's try this. That was in the padlock has three different hints, just a grid reference for the map. Yeah. That was the padlock has just a grid. I got it, man. That was the padlock has just a grid reference for the map. Okay. The tree looks really far away. It does. I just th that's why I thought it was wrong. Oh, okay. Wait, hang on. E3 West, maybe? No, I think... E3 West? No, there's no dragon there. Um, I think it's... I think it's H6. H6 West. Yeah, it is. That's done it. Neat. What was in the box? More wooden models. These are a little different to the one on the desk. God, I love this game's art style. It's really nice. A model resembling a child with green hair. A model resembling a woman with gray hair. A model resembling a red and white bird, which is the bloody feather. A model resembling a broad-shouldered man. The wooden models have been hand-painted. The paint is not skillfully applied. A pot of red paint, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Cool. Let's let's ask him about this. What you what you got here, man? Ah, you? you found it. What? Uh, what? I had to rush the final. Touch. It turned out all right, though. What's it supposed to be? It's Flora, of course. Surrounded by all. The okay. Interesting. Anything else? Oh boy. Why would someone lock up a book? We think it's a secret diary. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Where did you find that? It was in the library. Really? How odd. 
God, there must be a lot of dialogue if everyone can react to every other character and every piece of evidence. That's impressive, actually. A little hand-painted statue. How can you tell it's Well, right? the paints are right there on the desk. Also, I mean, no offense, but you can just tell. <laughs> okay. God, I love the way the glass is rendered. It's just very nice. Sir? I've been calm. I was hoping. Do you paint them yourself, too? I do indeed. Yeah. Nowadays, I can make just about... Of course, this particular model is a self-portrait. Hard fact, huh? So, you own a sword for... Yeah, of course. I own it, but my weapons are stored. Safety first. And... Okay. Let's... Let's go outside. Love being able to teleport anywhere from anywhere else yeah, in the tower. Mr. Potter. <laughs> oh, is it a lady? Well, nice cape. You're not fellows or pointers. I'm sure I shall immediately regret asking. That's... But who are you, and what is your business here? Oh my god, I'm so dumb. Who is that? Hang on. I know who that is. That is Tiana Camacho, I think. I'm Sally, and this is my sidekick, Grimoire. A private detective, Grimoire. Really? You're a detective? This is a joke. It's not a good one. <clears throat> Who are you, anyway? Private Detective Hawkshaw. Oh, nice. Hawkshaw's a cooler name than Grimoire. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll become her sidekick. You're not on the free That is classified information between myself and my client. Clearly, this is something which eludes you. But a real detective refrains from handing out information to persons unknown. Oh, right. Sally now, should narrate audiobooks. Would, she I does. <laughs> It's not in my interest to discuss personal Even if you're one of the suspects in a murder? <sighs> Very well. Let us make a small exception. Ask. Oh, well, what are you doing here? I'm on a case at the behest of my client. How long have you been at Tangle Tower? 133 hours. Uh, five and a half days. Who are you working for? I am not at liberty to answer that. Now, I shall permit you one more question. What crime are you... How'd you get that scar? It's cool. You really think so? <laughs> <laughs> As it happens, I completed an examination of Flora's room on the morning before the murder. Before the murder? I've been investigating every single room at Tangle Tower. Did you find anything unusual? Nothing but a thin layer of dust and an atmosphere. Was Flora in there at the time? She spent the duration of my search staring up at the sky. Out the open window. Sound, sound balancer. Some of these, some of these lines are a little quiet. Maybe, maybe pump them up a little bit. Didn't say a word. A bit. Although I'm told this is the expected behavior. What did you do after that? I spent the early evening searching the library. It took longer than it should have. Fiona leaves that room in a permanent state of disarray. Fiona was in the library too. I expected her to make an appearance. And you stayed in the library. Not quite. Towards the early evening, my examination of the library was unexpectedly disrupted. Sounds of running, wailing, shouting from several floors above. I vacated the library, but before I could begin my ascent, Professor Pointer appeared. He emerged from the Pointer staircase, crossed the hall, and begun up the fellow staircase. Our eyes met. He was breathless. He told me to stay out of the I way. consented and decided to return to my office in the Stone Square. As I was passing through the front door, Penelope called out from behind me. She was clutching the banister of the Pointer staircase with an apprehensive manner. She wished to know where Professor Pointer had gone. I told her what had transpired. Then, she too crossed the hall and disappeared up the fellow stairs. More so than at any moment prior, I felt like quite an intruder in the house. I took my leave. The grounds were silent. Even the greenhouse was without its typical inhabitant. 
I noted that he, too, must be entangled in whatever was transpiring in Fellow Tower. An unremarkable hour passed before the gardener finally made his appearance. He spoke to me of what His report was as clumsy and cumbersome as the man giving it. Did he seem upset? He was rattled. That much was clear. But sorrowful. Mournful. I cannot say. When did Freya draw the picture of you, Hawkshaw? I didn't model for her, if that's what you're asking. She must have done it without my permission. Could just be from memory. It's not quite as detailed as the others, anyway. All right, I don't have anything else to show her right now. Is that a clock? If it is, it's a clock with four faces. I'm guessing it doesn't tell the time. So what does it do? Uh. Oh, they make a a nine, maybe, and then this is a a twelve. I think this is also a nine or something. This is a three. Oh, I'm okay. I'm a clown. Right, 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 right. So I need, I need that to be over here, and this to be over here, and then got it. All right. Well, I've got my goal. Okay. So. out okay so the nine goes Wait, are you a six does it matter yeah I guess I guess it does um, okay so you've got to be here six or nine this is a nine um, shower real quick to wake my brain up because I'm like right now. Okay. Good luck with clock puzzle. Yeah. Uh, these are, my brain doesn't wrap around these, right? Bye. Yeah. The question is less like what, which goes where. I know it's, it's three, nine, twelve, six. It's just, you got to reverse engineer which one's going to push into which. The problem is, I'm okay at puzzles like this and math and stuff, but it needs to be procedural in my head, and the minute I lose track of what I'm doing, I have to completely start over or wing it. Okay. Let's 
say you go clockwise, you go counterclockwise, which means I need you to be up here. So that when I move this here, those are both correct. I don't know. I think it might actually just go faster for me to fuck around and find out. This sort of puzzle, you have to find the spot that, like, rotates the fewest and use that to your advantage, but this is a 2-3-3-2 two, three, three, two rotator. You had it. Did I? I? I don't think I did. I gotta get this one there. Yeah, the problem is... No, this is close. That one. No. Nope. So moving. it's like cogs on a machine. Yeah. Ugh. I hate this kind of puzzle. It is. It is one of my weaknesses. Ah. Damn it. Dumb brain is not gonna make this easy. Okay. Let's try this. That's close. Wait, I should be able to make this work. Ah, uh, right. I mean, I like the aesthetic of this puzzle. Yeah, I wish... I wish one of these rotated freely. And I, I wish it was like one rotated on its own or something. Try solving it backwards. It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter which direction I solve it in. No matter what, I have to set one of the far ones. Um, the way to solve this puzzle is you need to like pick one of these pairs, far left or far right, um, set it one off, and then use the, uh, the final ones to click it in. It's just not easy. I know. Wait, this one's not, this one's definitely not six. This one's for sure nine. Um, Guys, I understand. I understand which ones it needs to be at. The problem is getting them there. <laughs> uh, all right. Damn. Yeah, can I reset, reset this? Reset the puzzle? Yeah, that'll actually make it easier at this point. It's so fucked. Wow, that's like almost it, literally. Damn it. Have you tried rotating them? Ah, oh, shit! Ah, oh, Tangle Tower is a tricky game. You gotta rotate the fucking puzzle pieces. There we go. Got it. No, that was it. Nice work. What's in the box? A little... But I'm not actually sure what it is. Wooden trunk. I want one. This belongs to you, Correct. Huh? And... It's my handheld microscope. What do you magnify with it? Trace particles, dust, oils, clothing fibers. Have you used it here at Tangle? I have. I used it to examine the greenhouse. What were you looking for? That is between... Quite the stoic statue, isn't she? I can only dream of being as cold. You think she's hiding something? Perhaps. She has some strange habits. I heard she barely sleeps. An hour here or there. Sprat spends the rest of her time. She likes birds. 314 cases solved. 300? <laughs> and 14. Considerably intelligent. Under powers of observation, she has no ambition. In her defense? Barely. Did you get anything useful out of him? Not sure. 
Nothing worth committing to. I think he knows more than he lets on. Probably. But talking with him is so tedious. Freya Fellow, I perceived her to be the most intelligent. Within a day, she had identified for whom I was working and for what I was searching. I didn't know how she did it. I regret that I did not question her more thoroughly. You couldn't have known. I have only myself to blame for failing. What signs? I do not wish to do your... Conveniently left anonymous. It's useless until you can prove to whom it concerns. Can you do that? No. No. Oh god. There's a metal plaque on Is the Is there a message in I think there was it, but someone scratched it off. It's a big stone dais. Biggest one I've ever seen. First one too. It's a big stone dais. Biggest one. First I've one too. That's a bridge. You ever see a mushroom that big before? Not in real life. A pointless little stone tower. I don't know. Might Wanna be play hide and seek? I could be persuaded. <laughs> it's a big stone dais. Biggest one. First one too. Hi. <laughs> That's cute. Show her the picture of the bird. Have you seen this book before? Do you know who it belongs to? I was more interested in getting her to talk about Maybe birds. I thought she was going to say something. Okay. Um. Didn't have anything to say about the painting. Yeah, no. Alright. That's the it's also sure is. Alright. Let's try the greenhouse, I think this was. <laughs> His eyes glow! Yeah, I see him. He's a little too big to hide in the... Is anyone going to say anything? Or shall we just stand around staring at each other? Right. Sorry. Sorry. That's better. I'm Sally. And the guy hiding behind me is Detective... Who are you? Fitz Fellow. The gardener. Mm-hmm. And why are you so tall? Oh my god, Sally. You can't just ask someone why they're so tall. I don't know. You work here, as the gardener. I don't get paid to do it. It's just my area of interest. What's the deal with the plants? They're all kind of weird. Right. Did you see the lake? That giant green and purple lake around me. Yeah, I clogged it. <laughs> the color is just a byproduct. Of what? It's not poisonous. Not to you. Uh, what's this got to do with the plants? The water controls all life, just like anywhere else on the planet. Clouds form, rain falls, the water grows the plants, animals eat the plants. Anything you've perceived as an irregularity is simply a result of this hydrological cycle. Could you say that again, but like, condense it as if you were talking to a slightly stupid person? Our lake water causes the unpredictable alteration of DNA, sometimes. Oh. Uh... Might want to might want to bring a Geiger counter out here, then, my dude. Alteration. That'd be the official term. For us, it's normal. And you're the local expert on all this stuff. No, I'm just the gardener. You're interesting. I was in my greenhouse, watering, and weeding. Sounds exciting. Was anyone else around? Not at first. Penelope came in a little later. She likes looking at the flowers. I think. Did you? speak to each other a little not too much we both left the greenhouse in the early afternoon i went up to my room then i came back outside to weed the main gardens didn't see anyone else after that i went up to the garden outside my room and let me guess watering and weeding right did anything happen to you yesterday fitz i was up in the rooftop garden it was quiet and then it wasn't. I can't describe it. Could have been a scream, but it didn't sound human. Bird. We thought it was coming from Flora's tower, so we went up there. We? Poppy was with me. 
Did I not mention that? Flora's room was locked. That's normal. She usually locks it from the inside. I knocked on the door and shouted. Nobody responded. You kicked the door down? I did. Poppy and I went in. Freya was right there, laying on her back. Flora was there too, but I barely noticed her at first. Poppy left the room for a while. When she came back, she had her father with her, and Fifi too. Penelope arrived shortly after that, with Felix in tow. I thought that was odd. You don't normally see the two of them together. Felix took charge. There was nothing else I could do to help. I wanted to go back to my room, but I realized nobody had told Detective Hawkshaw anything. I found her pacing back and forth around the stone square. When I approached her, she snapped at me. I think she was annoyed about being made to wait outside so long, but when I told her about Freya, she fell silent. That looks like it might belong to Poppy. Fitz's room is unlocked. It's up in the fellow tower. This could be interesting. That's a handsome beetle. Looks like he might have magic powers. Is that fruit? It's shaped like fruit. Too shiny to be fruit. I think it's glowing a little too. Safe to eat, do you think? I'm gonna say no. Hanging baskets. They're so high up. To you, maybe. You're only two inches taller than me. Two inches makes all the difference. This one's in a little pot. Okay, that is definitely not edible. It looks like a gemstone, don't you think? God, I love, I love him there in the background. A little chart of, actually, I have no idea what it's about. Oh God, more of this shit, okay. Kind of reminds me of a periodic table. Kind of reminds me of a periodic table. What do you make of it? Not a whole lot. It's glass, but I can't see through it. Total oxymoron. I am not. Tools used by a gardener for gardening. Tools used by a gar gardening. Hanging baskets. So you, You're only two inches makes all. All the flowers here look kind of poisonous. Can flowers be poisonous? Anything can be poisonous. Good to know. This is a good example of how things work. I mix that soil here in the greenhouse. It's made with water from the lake. And it makes the fruit grow all shiny and gem stony sometimes is the mouse supposed to be visible that's part of the game you never really know what's going to happen can you not and see what it do you do with this shiny inedible fruit you look at it <laughs> penelope knows about birds penelope. you should ask her instead oh it's got a unique icon so i figured it was in game okay sorry let me change that real quick it's gonna go black for a second okay how about now can you see it actually i wanted to there's ask. a plant mentioned on this page do you have any no i don't grow that anymore. i've tried in the past it's incredibly difficult even for me never get it to live more than a couple of weeks oh Okay. All right. What about this? You ever seen this before? No, but I don't normally go into Fifi's room. That's not where we found. Oh, her. I just thought it looks like it belongs to her. Oh, jeez, dude. I guess I, this is what my house looks like. It's a little handmade card. Someone's drawn a heart on the front. Inside it says, to Fitz, from PP. That poor plant. Looks pretty healthy to me. Healthy, but sad. I think it would rather be outside. An empty glass. Looking at it is making... Why? I don't know. <laughs> Hello. 
Not hidden very well, is it? Doesn't need to be. It's locked. Oh, it's Jesus. A common, sort of. Oh, thank you for letting me move this. Okay. Alright. Oh. Do I need to move this multiple times? That's actually a really interesting little puzzle. Okay. I'm not... I love this music. I'm not really sure... Oh, you can drag it, too. That's nice. Alright. Oh, okay. So there's only one of each. Good. I was like, I thought it was going to ask me what order I needed to put... Oh, wait. Hang on. Interesting. Oh, these are... This is a finicky little bastard. Alright, well, we got that one. And then let's try this guy. It's like a below. Yeah, okay. And then... Slime needle. Oh. Oh, shit. Let's, let's try here. Yep, slime needle. And which one have I not done? Right, left, we do down. Maybe. I don't think that's it. I could just lazily try all of these since I've got all the other ones. Um this looks like a looks like a regular long boy to me. Oh crap, but there's no long boy option. Oh, that's because it's this one. I did it. What do I win? Not bad. Anything in there? Yeah, it's wrapped in a cloth. Huh, hold on. That's kind of ominous. Oh. It's locked. I but thought we were happy. We are. What's that thing by the handle? Nothing. The tiles. But those moon symbols in the Maybe slot. they're connected. But uh. nope. Maybe the end. So where is it? Somewhere else. All right. I'll I'll keep. Let's come back once we. I'll keep that in the back of my head. Oh wow. What? It's a big empty space. Huh. Neither? They're just decorative. Oh, so decorative. Uh, there's someone outside the window. Something outside. It's probably just a rock. You sure? I'm baby. Hey man, I went digging around in your room. Check this shit out. This is yours, Fitz? Yeah. Do you use it? I keep all my tools in the greenhouse. That wasn't what she asked. Oh. Okay. Well, let's see if we can find that, uh, the bird lady. It's almost a gymnopede. Oh, hello, Poppy. You look like a big purple banana. ghost sally that's rude <laughs> unless she is a ghost it may come as a disappointment but i am alive ah that makes you a suspect i'm afraid i know what's your name my name is poppy i'm a pointer and a pianist we'll need to ask you a few questions about freya i know hey you're pretty good all in the wrist and 13 years of dedicated practice. <laughs> I'm 
I'm just me. There's nothing to know. How are you related to the other Pointers? My father is Percival Pointer. The Professor spends most of his time hidden away in his tower. Barely speaks to anyone these days. Especially not the Fellows. Do you get on with the Fellows? Two of them. Fifi and Freya are my closest friends. We all turned 19 last year. Do people ever leave Tangle Tower? I don't mean to be rude. It's just, if you're 19... You don't have to answer that, Poppy. It's a fair question. I'd like to move away. Definitely. Fifi, Freya, and I would often talk about it. Argue about it. Freya wanted to leave, but Fifi... Things are more complicated for her. What about now? After what happened, I really don't want to stay here much longer. Three and a half hours of piano practice. Love that soon pose. As I wake up. Same as always. Three and a half? Does that not hurt your hands? Sure. And you do this in the music room? No, I prefer to practice in my room. When I make mistakes, I like to make them in private. What did you do after that? I was supposed to meet Fifi in the library, but I totally forgot. When I finally got down there, she'd already gone. I checked her bedroom, but it was locked. Was Fifi not in there? No idea. She keeps her door locked either way. So I went back upstairs and out into the moonlight garden. The what? The little garden on the roof outside my room. Was it just you up there? No. Fitz came outside after a while. His room's on the other side. He's been teaching me about flowers. So, did you talk to him? Not really. You ignored each other. I didn't say that. Fitz and I were up in the moonlight garden most of the afternoon. Then we heard this sound. It lasted about three seconds. I've been trying to decide how to describe it. But I'm struggling. It was like something drilling into a piece of metal. But different. Worse. I was pretty sure it was coming from Flora's tower. So we went up there to check. Her door was locked. Nobody was answering. I knew Freya and Flora were both supposed to be in there. So I made Fitz kick down the door. I went inside. Freya was lying on the floor. Flora was in the room too? Yeah. I think she realized what had happened at the same moment I did. I didn't know what to do. So I ran downstairs to get Fifi. Her door was still locked. But I knocked and shouted at her. Eventually she let me in. The lights were off. But I could see she'd already been crying. I told her what had happened. She didn't believe me. She got angry. First time I've ever seen her angry. I dragged her out into the hall. My father was there too, for some reason. The three of us went back up to Flora's tower. Then Felix arrived. He had Penny with him. Fifi had this idea. She wanted to do some kind of scientific test. She took me down to the library. We were in there about 15 minutes. After she was done, she went back upstairs and I went back to my room. That's it? That's it. I think Fifi is the sussest character right now. Is that a gardening troll? Yeah. I think it belongs to Fitz. Really? Hm. Never seen him use it. Oh, you've been to the greenhouse? Uh, impressive, but kind of unsettling. Yeah, he does that. I don't... Oh, wait, what do you make of the statue? I know that's the only harp in the whole of Tangle Tower. I've never actually seen a real one. Maybe it's from before your time. Oh, definitely. See how old this... What about the symbols? One of them... Yeah, weird. Poppy's bedroom is unlocked. I wonder what's in there. <laughs> Her fucking beam is so intense. It's really funny. Between the lips, a silver spoon. A story written. All too soon. 
The chosen dwelling of her heart, unjustly chosen to depart, lost her liberation lays in the center of a maze. Softly does the flower grow, rest a seed within the earth, hour by hour, day by Heart of head, but free of mind, unimprisoned, unconfined. With starry eyes, she sees beyond, behind our wall. A soul untied, it's hers, it's free. With surging tide, the waves are thrown. On its surface, you may see, reflected in the, the orchestrator, pale and still, pulling strings, enacting will. That's not good. <laughs> That's me. I'm on a list of murder suspects. Always thought that would be kind of cool, but it's just tedious. Falls a little short, doesn't it? Oh, whatever it is, it's playing a little trumpet. While it is, the music out of practice. That's with all the broken glass. Good. All these cracked horns. Oh, uh, maybe she made this Does tape because it's you, piano. Now that's not really my style, is it? But who else would own a tape like this? Literally anybody. Okay, fair enough. Don't you think that's weird that the letter isn't addressed to anyone? Someone's being done. Or they're trying to manipulate you. Hey, that's me. Not a bad likeness. It looks like you're standing in a rose bush. Is there something wrong with that? Don't look at me. I didn't break it. Does anybody else use the music room? Yes. I don't know who, but I can tell when somebody else has touched the piano. Okay. All right. Spooky murder. Spooky man. murder mansion. Bell, lips, piano, bird. Sheet music. That's a lot of notes. Probably why they're on the floor. That's just... What else would it be? Are they... Whatever they are, it's like a little parade of floating spirits. One old yep. wooden. Twenty-five dry. Mm -hmm. Four. Yeah. Am I the only one seeing the problem? Mm. Uh, looks like everything in this room. Cool. Ah, yes, a giant symbol drawn in chalk on the floor. Oh, it's a good omen. It's an eye. More handwritten sheet music. Just a bunch of clothes on the floor. Nothing weird about that. To you. More handwritten sheet music. Octopus. It's an octopus. No, it's not. It has six legs. Don't say it. Sextopus. That is the bed of a vampire. I thought vampires slept in coffins. This is a vampire who needs firm support for their lower back. Oh, thank you. Goodness, there are seven lit candles. Wouldn't want it to be dark in here. It's a metronome for keeping time. It's ticking. Is it a bomb? <laughs> it's supposed to be ticking. Not sure what those symbols are, though. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, good gravy. Okay. Damn it. Okay, front two. What the fuck am I doing? Well, that's not useful. Is that not it? 
that's done it. Neat. What happened? A little hatch unlocked. Anything in there? Mm-hmm. It's a photograph. Heart of a photograph. That? Okay. Yeah, that is her. Empty. A big glass door leads out into a garden. There's a little mechanism by the... Ah. All right, I'll deal with I that later. I guess we'll come back later. Well, actually, a big glass door leads out into... There's a little mechanism. Shit. Gloomy. But roomy. A big glass leads door. Out There's into... a little mechanism. Something happened. That must be it. And the door. I still feel like we made some sort of. Didn't we? Saw... We did, but. All right, we're up and then got it. Uh, before I forget that, let's go unlock it. It's locked. I thought we, we were... are. What's that thing by the hand? It made a noise. I guess that was right. Finally. Whatever's on the other side better be worth A single red rose. How very traditional. Yeah, weird. There's a name for this. You know, these ones that stand upright. Sheet music. It's only a few notes. Yeah, it's been framed, though. Must be important for some reason. Oh. Uh, that's the humming, I think. Alright, before I forget, let me uh, go bug Poppy about this again, because she's... Hello, you. That is weird. Cons well, my room is full of junk. I don't mean like. Please stop talking to me. All right. Yeah, it's mine. Can you play the tune for? Sure. It's literally eight notes. Mine. What's so special? I got it from my teacher. How long have you been playing? Since the day I turned six. I was really excited to start learning. As soon as I got when it, I arrived at my second lesson the next day. She hadn't asked permission for she two whole years. Yeah, well. Was Freya any good? Hi. I got to she would have been the even place. better than me. I will, I if she'd stuck with it. You. Wait, what? Sorry. I'm I'm gonna I'm about to post a thing in a certain channel you might have uh, muted for now, but I've already added you for it, so just keep it. Oh, okay. One day she just stopped. Why? Me. That's just it. There was no reason. That's when I realized things were different. How goes game? Pretty good. I feel about the boogily sprites either. It's like a little charming, but it's, it's a little too distracting after a while, I think. Yeah, I, I've actually gotten used to it, but, and like, like I said, I love it on these tiny sprites. I think it's great here. On the tiny ones, it's fine, yeah. Yeah, um, I don't, I don't dislike it, but like the animation and character design is so good, I'm not sure it adds anything to the, uh. Yeah, yeah. A little pond. It looks really, really deep for some reason. See those metal bars around the edges? Oh, yeah. Nothing. And he looks yeah. like somebody broke them and then never bothered to fix it. Something at the bottom of the pond because she said shit about that. A little pond. Oh, I, I can't yeah. look. Huh? Like 
it's another little statue. Why are there headphones on that statue? Time. You know. Ah, I guess He's I also wearing headphones. Well, they're not part of the statue, and they're not headphones. They're earmuffs. Those are headphones. <laughs> okay. I might just stay here. Oh, shall I go finish the investigation on my own? Oh, that'd be great. That's one big dragonfly. Or oh, one so very small dragon. Ah, a little water feature. It's making me sleepy. Wonder how it's hooked up. Giant stone frog? Love it. Nah, he's got his tongue out like he's catching snowflakes. Except those aren't snowflakes. They're feathers. I might just stay here. Oh, shut up. <sighs> Trees. On a roof. In a garden. Mm hmm In a garden. On a roof. More egg statues. I don't get it. Why eggs? Well, either they have some sort of sculptor was just really lazy. What do you mean? An egg has got to be the easiest shape to make. The stone pillars. Or what's left of them. Oh, good. A bridge. I'm glad to know there's a way to get across that tiny tiny pond not all bridges are about the more egg statues i don't get it well i have a sculptor an egg has got to be the easy issue it's the door to fit one of only oh, two yeah trees in a garden mm -hmm. in a garden. birds in them all right Bird cages, but the birds are coming. Is that a metaphor? Oh, it totally is. Check out that butterfly. Looks evil. Wow, judgmental. <laughs> a rather magnificent bush, somewhat cruelly confined to a stone pot. There's a letter P carved into the side. My little writing desk. It's kind of cute. There's nothing written in the book. Although someone's torn a page out of the middle. My little writing desk. There's nothing written in the book. I don't like mirrors. They steal your soul. How do you get your hair so symmetrical without using a mirror? I do it by weight. I can feel if one side is heavier than the other. Oh my god, why are her hands so big? Bird what? wings. Oh, okay. They're I beautiful. thought she was like a, a plant Someone lady. I was like, stuff. she got big old leaf hands? Oh, you weren't here when we met the plant guy. Oh my god, wait, hang on. Oh, okay. You're gonna love him. Oh. Do you see him? Oh! oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes! This is it! <laughs> Poppy and I are friends. Oh, I can buy that. Our clothes. Oh, you like two peas in a pod. She's very kind. And she has an interest in plants. Unusual flowers, mostly. I've been teaching her. Right. Is something wrong? Why everybody got such long necks? It's the long neck family. Oh, also, did you see Poppy? I did, yeah. Okay. Very cute. <laughs> <laughs> Don. <laughs> I want to grab her. I'm just her, her playing I'm piano father's sprite father's is so good. Most of his time is fixed to any you get on two of them. We all turn to people ever. I don't. You don't have to. It's a fair question. Argue Safe about it's in here. Things are more. What about now? After what I really don't. No, probably not. It's fine. What do you have to say about Chonk? I already asked, apparently. Needless noise from Tony's expel. Unless we the spoken word, unfit for dealing with the shifting force. Stand unblinking in the face of Taciturn. All right, fucking Emily the Strange, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> 
and especially fancy cage. And it's home to three especially fancy birds. What is it? Huh? Sort of a delicate jade, but what about this? Oh, guys, that is just Tiana again. Her voice is so distinct. You can't have her play two archetypes this close to each other in the same game. Sorry? Your hair, dear! Which shade do you use? It's lovely! And that shade, you're really pushing the envelope. Oh, Thanks. I do what I can to offset Grimoire's beige on brown ensemble. Detectives don't need to be brightly colored. We prefer to blend into the background. Oh, you're the detective? Delightful. Penny Pointer, pleasure. Is that short for Penelope? Officially, yes, but I never can be bothered with all four syllables of it. Penelope sounds a little ostentatious coming out of the mouth, don't you think? Uh, sure. Twenty-something, Aquarius, love to travel, and nearly all of my friends are birds. Travel? Where to? Anywhere at all, as long as it has species worth studying. Ornithology, they call it. I call it the only thing I've ever been good at. And have you studied the birds here at Tangle Tower? <laughs> but of course! Where else do you think I developed my love of the field? No matter where I go, I always find myself coming home to Tangle Tower. Because of the birds? Oh, no, because of him! Silly to admit, but I suppose I can't bear for us to be apart. Who are you talking about? Hmm? Oh, don't you know? My fiancé, dear Fitz. He's not really the traveling type, you see. Oh. Fitz Fellow, the very one. You're engaged to a member of the Fellow family? I kind of figured That's Poppy and Fitz were an item. I'm not especially interested in whatever tedious feuding goes on between our two families. Fitz and I find it much easier to stay out of it altogether. Okay. I awoke early and headed down into the greenhouse to see Fitz. He's always there. Crack of dawn, every morning like clockwork. How come? It's where he's happiest. That, and he has a great deal of work to do every day, watering, pruning, and say That, and he has a great ass. Do you help him with the work in the greenhouse? Oh, no, no. I, I wouldn't dream of it. I'd probably break something. So, you stayed with Fitz the whole day? No. In the early afternoon, he went back inside. Rather suddenly, as it happens. Did he say why? He didn't. Probably just a touch of heat stroke, the poor dear. He's more delicate than you think. What did you do after that? Let's see. I returned to the aviary to feed my birds. And how many birds are you responsible for? Officially four. But in truth, it's more like 400. Can they not feed themselves? Of course. And they often do. But I think they just like the company. As do I. I'm a lonely bird woman. Some time in the evening. I left the aviary and headed back towards my room. But in the hall, I spotted Uncle Pointer heading down the stairs. He was muttering something. Seemed a bit upset, the poor dear. I followed him down, but the grand hall was empty by the time I got there. Empty aside from Detective Hawkshaw, who was loitering over by the library. I don't know what it was, but she looked a little lost. I inquired about the professor, and she told me he'd gone up the fellow tower. I ran up the stairs, hoping to catch up with him, but Felix appeared and blocked my path. For some reason, he was coming out of Fitz's bedroom. He looked rather lost, too. I told him I was looking for Uncle. He suggested we look up in Flora's tower room. We could see from the hallway. The door was off its hinges. I knew then something was terribly wrong. A moment later, we were gazing down on the body of poor Freya. Uncle Pointer was there. Fitz, too. Standing over in the corner with Fifi and Poppy. What about Flora? Of course, silent as ever. Uncle suggested we should leave. Give the others some space, you know. So he and I both returned to our rooms in Pointer Tower. Mm. I 
I must say, the girls are awfully well behaved. I think they know we're in the presence of company. They belong to you. They need a special diet, particular treatment. I let them out to fly occasionally, of course. Uh, but they're all one of a kind. I, I, I couldn't let anything happen to them. Do they have names? Of course. Let me introduce you to Tabitha, Tamara, and Tatiana. I've already forgotten all three of those names. Me, me, every time in any video game or piece of media. Which one is which? Oh, that's simple. Tatiana is the oldest, Tabitha is the most patient, and Tamara has the best sense of rhythm. Glad we cleared that up. What about the one on your head? On my head? He's just my hat. <laughs> he doesn't have a name. Who would name their hat? There used to be all kinds of birds here at Tangle Tower. The most fascinating breeds, all totally unique. Used to be? Uh, there are birds all over the place. Most of them are rather ordinary, I'm afraid. What happened to the non-ordinary ones? That is a very good question. I am a series of unfortunate events, character. Oh, basically, did uh... Fit show you that? Not exactly. We found it hidden under his bed. Ah, right. <laughs> this fucking music. Hmm, <laughs> gaudy old thing, isn't it? Flora seems very fond of it. I've never understood why. But then I could say the same thing about her husband. Hey <laughs> Ooh, delightful. More of a gemstone than a fruit, isn't it? Inedible, too. Yes. At one point I thought fit. But honestly, I think he just. Somebody taking an interest in ex extinct. Oh, yes. The book is very old. Well, what about this bird, though? This one? Well, it was thought to be extinct for a long time. Then one was found here at. So it's not extinct. Uh, you misunderstand. It was the last one. The very last. Oh. I can't decide what's worse. Or how she looks now. Do you know who this is? Oh, absolutely no idea. Mm. Unhelpful. Hello. Who penned this juicy little number? We don't know. An anonymous letter? Classic clue. We can get into Penny's room. Now, like, right now? Traveling cases. Empty. All of them. It's a nice room. Ever get the feeling you're being watched? The mannequins don't have eyes, though. That's not a comforting sentence. You know, the birds can easily get in and out of those cages. Oh, if that's true, can they even be considered cages? It's a birdhouse. Are those real birds? Mm. Nope. They're wooden. <sighs> They're using up all the perches. What if a real bird? Uh. I I have. I have no indication of what order this is supposed to go in. So. Hmm. Nope. There must be something to do with those white lines. White lines. Okay. Is it the direction they're looking? Well, that doesn't really work either, does it? Nothing. I think the birds are related to each other. Reset the puzzle? Okay. I'll do this later. A little bedtime reading? Let's see. Romance novels. And... Uh, what? This one appears to be both. Nice. A little tea set. One of the cups has tea What's in, in the other one? Birdseed. <laughs> Traveling Empty. cake. It's all very fun. cute. All right, so we got that bird thingy. Oh, what's this? That's some... There's something what? weird about it. just feels out of place. Okay. 
Flower. Yeah, it's a flower. Okay. Mean anything? Why to you? would it? Come on. I don't really go into Penny's room, or I just don't have a reason to. What's what's the deal with you two? You're Fritz. Um. That's interesting. All right. Have you met this guy, Fitz? Shifty eyes. Doesn't totally think. suspicious. That's me. Yeah, that's. It, it was a joke. I was joking. Oh, I see. <laughs> Penelope is my fiance. Don't take this the wrong way, but Penny doesn't really strike me as your type. She's not who she pretends to be. People think she's, well, they make assumptions. And how's the relationship doing? Good. It's good. Cool. Uh. Any idea who this uh, is? No, no idea. Okay. Fitz, what? in the rooftop garden with I... Poppy. Mm hmm. Are we done? Penelope's three favorite birds. She's very protective over them. Are they like her pets? Oh, they have names. Penelope loves to name things. Do you remember? What I do not. <laughs> How odd. What does this fucking letter say again? Combination is drawn on the other sheet. Once you have it memorized, destroy it. I do not with you, agree with your reasons. You will not find it down there. I assume that's something about the pond in the middle of the house. Um, yeah, let's just go and meet more people. Finally, some fan service. <laughs> it's a chart of the solar system. Which planet are you from, Sally? You know, I've always wanted one of those. A mechanical solar system? What would you do with it? I would look at it. Wait a minute. Earth in the middle. Sun, how old is <laughs> Rotate the five planets. The sun and the moon around the middle. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, no. Oh, I don't, I don't have, I don't have the slightest clue what I'm supposed to be aiming for. Th God, this must have been annoying to program. All right, well, remember that. Reset the puzzle? No, it's fine. I'll just just out. gonna rest my brain. Spyglass. They're in very good condition. There's something kind of disappointing about this room. I just expected a bit more. Oh, does it not compare to all the other astronomy towers? Yeah, it's too cloudy to see. It's also daytime. <laughs> Trinkets. Uh, they're clearly gizmos. <laughs> it's a chart of the solar system. Which planet are you? Huh, it's tidier than my desk. Oh, the notebook is untouched. It's so, even the most well-used notebooks start a flank. Let's at least introduce Always them. a good role. Shh, listen. Do you hear them? The stars. They're whispering. So quiet, and yet so loud. What are they whispering about? Are they spreading rumors about us? I shouldn't think they concern themselves with such insignificance. We are but specks of dust. Mm -hmm. Could the speck of dust... You find okay, yourself I'm standing in the astronomy the tower of works. one Professor Percival Pointer. Okay. Hmm. Seems like this tower belongs to the Pointers, and the other one belongs to the Fellows. Well observed, my dear. Tangle Tower is something of a duality, as it happens. Uh, meaningless boundaries, really. They exist only... Helpful. Me? Not much to say. Strictly speaking, I'm the current head of the Pointer family. Fucking Adachi-faced. And of course, father to my precious... And? 
Oh, no, no, that's... Just, I mean, yes, I've studied the stars for... Just a, a little hobby. Sounds like you're quite well known. Oh, dear me, no. My field of research has never yielded any kind of stable financial return. Nor would I expect it to. I am nothing but a working to translate its message. Cool. Tell the cosmos I say hi. The day began as any other, with blissful, unremarkable routine. I took my usual morning walk around the gardens. Fresh air. Did you see anyone else? Penelope and Fitz were in the greenhouse together. I didn't bother them, of course. I sat for a while besides the pond in the garden. It's a favorite spot of mine. Eventually, I returned to my tower and buried myself in my studies for the afternoon. Did you use your telescope yesterday? Once the stars began to appear. For how long? I can't say. Did I... you see anything? No actual discovery. So you were all alone. It must have been a while before you found out. Quite. Normally, I would be the last to find out about But a curious tug of fate led me towards the fellow tower. I was at my telescope for the majority of the evening. But at one point, I returned to my desk to look something up in a reference book. I couldn't find the book I wanted, so I figured Fiona must have borrowed it. I left my tower and headed down towards the Grand Hall. I spotted Detective Hawkshaw coming out of the library. She looked impatient and... Same as ever, then? Quite. I passed her by and when the door was locked, but I could hear shouting coming from inside. I recognized Fiona's voice as well as the voice of my own daughter. I had no desire to invade them. So I waited for them to finish and come out. Before I could ask about the book, Poppy grabbed my hand and took me upstairs along with Fiona. It was apparent that both of them had already been crying about something. We went up to Flora's tower. Freya was laying on her back. Flora and Fitz were already there. Felix and Penny arrived shortly after, and then Fiona went downstairs with Poppy for some reason. I quickly decided that I should leave also. I took Penelope with me, and we both went back to our rooms in Pointer Tower. Why did you leave so quickly? Wasn't there anything you could have done? Don't to... take this the wrong way, but the whole ordeal is fellow family business. I I'm quite sure they don't need me getting in. What's this? It looks like it might be a telescope you might know. So. Well, it certainly is a telescope. It has a part there to screw onto a tripod. It's rather small, though. No. Um, oh, you found a murder weapon? Steady on. It's just a garden. Looks like a weapon to me. What a precious photograph. She hasn't changed a Who? bit. Oh, if you don't know, perhaps I don't either. Nobody could deny her talent. She was remarkable, artistically gifted, but those two things aren't mutually exclusive. Was she ever interested in astronomy? I don't think she was. The fault. But I think she was captivated. My daughter loved. That said, in the last year or so, more and more I began to wandering the garden. She must have explored every in quite a restless. I'm spirit. surprised she chose to live at Tank. My. Poppy. Exceptionally talented. Hold on. Why is she on your list? Because of... she's a suspect. Oh, no. I can personally vow. Well, the truth is, she... If you don't mind me asking. Primrose? She was Flora's sister. A uh, Remington by birth. The playing field has never really been even since she left. Where did she go? Away. She went away. Ah, Penelope, our resident... Penny's your niece, is At that this moment in time, until she marries the gardener... She'll still be your niece. But she'll depart from the world the of... fellows. Like rats deserting a sinking ship. What do you want me to say? He's the gardener. He's a member of... Yeah, but not the Pointer family. What happened to his parents? His father, Flint, is Felix's brother. Strange man. Don't think anybody knows what happened to him. But he certainly doesn't live here anymore. What about his mother? Emily? I've not met her. She never actually married in her relationship with Flint was... Uh... Ah, yes. The air Goodness is... knows what'll happen when she takes... I dare say she'll confiscate my talent. She doesn't seem to be the type to impress... Still. Keep an eye on her. Dangerously intelligent. You sound jealous. Wait, are you two science rivals? Oh, no. We operate on... Really? Literally. I don't especially want... Introspection. Wait. 
has it? Why don't we discuss the moons of... I'm not sure if we 83. Have yeah, we don't have time. <laughs> Hard to read that He's one. He's kind of mean. You know, I simply assumed all detectives... Then, of course, I met you. <laughs> a listless soul. What's wrong with her? Not sure. She's always been troubled. Comes from a... I'd say you could ask her about I it. I think you might find that... He should learn to make the most of it. And he does have a lot. You're talking about... Among that. other things, but yes, that is, if he hasn't already squad... You two don't get on? Oh, no. We're the best of friends. That's all the statements. Let's go over them all. That's all the statements. Let's, Let's run through them all to see, to if, see if anyone's been lying. That too. The weirdest, offhand, the weird thing I remember is that two people came down from the tower. Fitz and I were up in the moonlight garden most of the afternoon, and I heard this sound lasted about three seconds. We thought it was coming from Flora's tower, so we went up there. Her door was locked, so I made Fitz kick. Poppy and I went in. Freya was right. I left my tower and headed down towards the Grand Hall. But... In the hall, I spotted Uncle Pointer heading down the stairs. I vacated the library. But before I could begin my ascent, Professor Pointer appeared. I didn't know what to do. So I ran downstairs to get Fifi. I heard someone heading down the stairs. Someone began banging on the door. I ignored it. Until the someone began shouting at me. Eventually, she let me in. I yeah, there's a missing the body there. Out of the library. He emerged from the Pointer staircase. Crossed the hall as I was passing through the front door. Penelope called out from behind me. I inquired about the professor, and she told, told her what had happened. She didn't believe me. She got angry. I thought she was playing a trick on me, so I punched her in the face. I recognized Fiona's voice. We as left the room, and Poppy's father was waiting outside. He followed us upstairs. I ran up the stairs, hoping to catch up with him, but. Felix appeared and blocked back in the hallway. I bumped into a very concerned was heading up the low tower to find Professor. Poppy left the room for a while. When she came back, she had her father with her and Fifi too. Felix and Penny arrived shortly after we A moment did. later, we were gazing down on the body. Of then I took a sample of the red She paint. took me down to the library. We were in there. I all. quickly decided that I should leave also. I took Penelope with me, and we both went back to our rooms in Pointer Tower. I wanted to go back to my room, but I realized nobody had told Detective Hawkshaw anything. An unremarkable hour passed before the gardener finally made his appearance. An hour? I think she was annoyed about being made to wait outside so long. But when I told her about Freya, she fell silent. That's disappointing. What is? All the statements line up with They don't just line up. Some of them even seem to specifically confirm each other. Oh, okay, I can't. I can't really do anything with that. All the statements Let's run to see if that too. Oh, no. Okay. Interesting. There's... There's a couple things that don't fully line up there. Ready when you are. Where was that? Where was that drawing of people connected to each other? Is it in here? We're missing a pale. Yeah, the uh, it's a little bit. Perfectly the walkthrough of Felix. Uh, someone came down before Poppy did, and that person was not upset. There's also no fucking reason Felix should have been in Fitz's room. Um, and then it's weird that uh, Poppy and Fiona went down and took 15 minutes to do the test, and then everyone kind of dispersed, and no one told the other detective for an hour what happened. That's really weird. All right, Fifi's room. Okay, thank you for letting me know that. Bim. Okay. Fifi's got some. What is all this? Okay. It's Poppy. That's actually. 
Yeah, let's see. Is this them cooperate? Yeah. This one's not quite right. Interesting. I was wondering if this was like them, uh, I was wondering if this was her also tracking their uh, alibis, as if she'd like asked them to make sure they had them. I thought Penny had originally. Is Fifi? Maybe. Trying? Did you ever try that? It's Detective Hawkshaw. I think that's supposed to be Felix. Is that supposed to be me? That's just the face you make when you're thinking. It does make you wonder though. When yeah. What? That's you, Sally. What? I do yeah, not what? look like that, do I? Looks like Fitz. Why is there a question mark next to these two? Is Fifi Maybe. Did you ever try that? That's gotta be Flora. It's a drawing of Penny. All right. Did oh, you let's... notice who? Freya. Mm-hmm. Is that oh. like a relationship chart thing? I don't know what that is. Um. Okay. What is ah, this? Ah, okay. Ah. We should talk to Fifi. Oh, okay. There's a hint thingy. I'll do that and then never click that again. I don't trust you as far as I can throw you, which is quite far. I was in my room. Someone I opened the door. She told me I thought she was playing a trick. She insisted that we, we left the room when I saw Freya. Yeah. Then I took Poppy and I took We performed seat. a test. You performed that song. Even though you were. Of course. Why would one. <laughs> what is this tweet? Why did my landlord text me this to inform me he ate four of my ch Chips Ahoy cookies without permission while well, I'm well, I am not home? <laughs> Text from Steve. The cookie monster took four chocolates chip. <laughs> Weird. Criminal. <laughs> Go to jail. Is that? Uh, I'm quite sure that I have no idea. Okay. Um, let's talk to her. This belongs to Professor Point. No. Well, who else would own such a pointless... It's a telescope. Oh, yes. It has a... It could only be used for looking... Good to know. It's definitely not a magnifying glass. There is a drawing of me, a drawing of Detective... Pop and a drawing of... Po a drawing of Poppy and Fitz. Okay. What else might she be interested in? Let's talk to people. Name, Poppy Pointer. Apparently, Poppy has defaced my notes. Under profession, I had she has crossed that out and written the ghost of Christmas yet to come. <laughs> Poppy's my favorite. I hope she's not the murderer. Name, Penelope Pointer. Age, 27. Likes, birds, dislikes, notes. Penelope, I have never had very much in common with her. Oh. Name, Percival Pointer, age 57, profession, none. Uh, I'm pretty... Oh, yes, of course. How uncharacteristically forgetful of me. Name, Hotshaw, age, unknown, profession, private detective, likes, quote, being left alone, dislikes, quote, being <gasps> constantly teeth. badgered by a weirdo nerd with a clipboard. Name, Freya Fellow, deceased. Understand this. Most people find me difficult. They exhibit a noticeable degree of discomfort when talking to me. Uh. <laughs> there it is. Freya, who had a way of being an exception to any given rule, was not at all like this. She is very important, and I will not rest until I understand what has happened to her. Did you spend a lot of time with Freya recently? I will say this. In the past year, Freya became, one, increasingly independent, and two, increasingly isolated. Do you know why? I do not. If you are looking for a speculative, empathetic opinion, try asking Poppy instead. The three of you are friends. We are of a similar age, and all highly gifted. One scientist, one artist, and one musician. Sounds like quite a team. Name, Fitzfellow. Age, 24, profession, likes, soil, dislikes. Hang on. Crypto bomb. That may well be his preferred label. Do you and Fitz not see eye to we eye? We do not. Well, I would have thought so. He's well over six foot and you've got to be just... So, what's your problem with him? Exactly one week ago, 
I witnessed him sneaking up Pointer Tower. He was making every effort to avoid detection. So? He was also carrying a knife. Okay. Do I get Name. something with that? Likes, dislikes, the superfluous window dressing, notes. Kindly disregard the polysyllabic form of my given form. How come you prefer Fifi? How come you prefer Grimoire? How are you related to the other fellow? Fitz is my cousin. His father, a man named Flint. Was? I do not know if Flint is alive or not. And what about Freya? We share exactly... Name, Felix Fellow. Likes, collecting objects of negligible monetary value and assigning them... Dislikes, the inescapable <laughs> realities of human existence. Notes. Felix is my father. And, uh... I have no point of comparison, but I would say no. No? You asked me a binary question. Do not get upset that I provided... What makes him a bad father? He has trouble expressing his emotions and something of a willful... Huh. Just like you, then. Grimoire. No, no. He is quite correct. Name, Laura Fellow. Likes, unknown. Uh, isn't she your mother? I believe other people may have discovered, but I have little capacity for interpreting. And how? She has always been quiet. What so what happened? She listened. suffered a great something she has been... A All right, can I talk to Fitz about that then? How do I... Fifi doesn't like me. What did you do? I'm not sure. If you find out, maybe you can let me know. How do I, like... Hey, chat, if anyone's played this game, I know there was, like, a jingle that I learned something. Do I get something for that? Do I... Can I use that anyway? Is it in the case file? The game will inform you if you have gathered enough clues to unlock the testimony. Um. We got the trowel again. I can try. Okay. Hello. Hi. <laughs> You can also use the question bulb often if you like. It's helpful. I'd like to not have to, but... Yeah, the, it's just... It's the same trowel as before. I keep all my That wasn't what she... Maybe if I show it to Poppy? Or not Poppy. Fifi? They could just present stuff, and if you presented the right stuff, the that button under the question That's activates. Must. You must. Oh, you mean... You mean this one? This locked one? Okay. Interesting. All right. That blade. Uh, it's a troll. It is. <laughs> Sorry, it's a what? That blade. Uh, it's a troll. Uh, or it, gardening. It's a trowel. <laughs> Not a troll. <laughs> In the troll and things that scoop the fish off the ocean floor. Some special significance. Why is that? No idea. She has never Destroying graced me the with the details, and I'm not forthcoming enough to ask. You two are friends, right? We are, yes. But? It is clear to me now that Poppy has become tired of my company. Is it anything to do with Freya? Oh, no. The changes in Poppy's mood have nothing to do with Freya. Her okay. concerns simply lie elsewhere. Okay. Do you know who it was... It belongs to my mother. And she left the... No. My mother is not... <laughs> she. Yeah, that's. So this is. The gramophone belongs. But I believe she gave it to my mother. Or maybe it is. When did it get cracked? Not pink. all I know is. There's something about the image of Flora in the painting. Something. Let's ask her about it. Sure. What? Sure. Okay. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, Sid, look at this little icon. Suspicion! So, this painting, specifically that knife in Flora's hand. It's a yeah, feather. It's creepy. 
Bye. So, what's going on? It's not a knife. We need a clue to compare it. Something to explain what the... It's this, right? Yeah. Let's take a closer look. The painted knife is actually just a feather from an inkdip bird. It's definitely the right shape, but the book's not in color. The thing floors. Is there anything to suggest that the ink did? Yeah, yeah, I don't remember where, but. Uh. I. I fucking saw it somewhere. It was red. Yeah, it's this. This little thing? I don't understand why Felix would make a model of this bird as part of a gift for Flora. And come to think of it, why would Flora be called. She likes birds, man. Oh, oh, she ate. What's the what? deal? I think the inkdip bird was Flora's pet, so she kept a single feather to remember it by. The inkdip bird was Flora's pet, so she kept a single feather to remember it by. She kept the bird as a pet, and it died? Maybe. Maybe it flew away. Flora spends all her time. Either way, she kept the feather. I think it... All right. So, she was holding the feather while Freya was painting her. But where is it now? You'd think she'd keep it somewhere close by. Yeah. I think she... This is where Flora usually keeps her feather. Oh, this... I... This I don't know. Oh, probably the egg. That we opened it. Mm-hmm. Completely... Flora? She's pointing at some... It's just a pile of books. Wait. There's something tucked inside this one. Baby, oh, baby bird. These are for you, love Freya. Okay. I like the these drawings, her. Flora. Is there a reason why you want? Let's take a look at this. It's a cute bird. Uh, it's for you, love Freya. Okay. That's nice. Let's ask the ornithologist about this. Hey, so there might have been there might be an extra bird here. You didn't go off, by the way. It's that bird. But these must have been drawn at least a year ago. Oh, how sad. Oh, okay. Yes, it's my, <laughs> uh, my flower. You don't like it? I'm no good at caring for plants. I forget to walk. Birds are much easier. They're Do like you at least? The look, the colors, the shape of it. Between you and me, I think it's a little vulgar. music I love this there's something about the report of Fitz going up Pointer Tower yeah I, I'm kind of surprised we didn't get to do anything Some about that earlier about it. yeah let's go now all right I guess I must have been missing that flower hey uh, you fucking Sasquatch what's going on so Fitz I'm living my I life. have a Leave report that you were seen sneaking up Pointer Tower uh Holding a knife. That's not right. I don't go into Pointer Tower. I don't own a knife. And I don't sneak. I lumber. Was it Fifi who told you this? How did you know that? I guess. She doesn't like me very much. But yeah, she was mistaken. Maybe she wasn't wearing her eye lens thing. What do you think, Grimoire? Fifi lied about seeing Fitz. Fifi definitely saw Fitz holding a knife. He was holding Fifi something else. did see Fitz. So... If it wasn't a this trowel. What about this? Troll. Ah, that. Is it yours? It was a gift. It's sentimental. I 
I have no reason to. Take I really it like Fitz's voice. I don't it's use it at all. absolutely not what I would have expected. I don't... Woo. It's the only thing that can destroy. Oh, he takes care of her flower while she's not looking. Okay. Fitz is used by Fitz to look after. Maybe. Ornate trowel is used by Fitz to look after a potted flower in Penny's room. An is it a petal? Is used by Fitz to look after a is potted flower. Is it like a leaf or a petal that he's holding? Room. Or that she's holding? That flower. Yes. I've never seen it before. We need a clue to compare to that flower. Something that. Yeah, it's got the same soil. Let's take a closer look at these. Pot and soil. In Flora's room. The pot and soil in Penny's room matches the pot and soil found in Fitz's greenhouse. Let me guess. Penny's flower was originally a gift from you, Fitz. There's no way it's a uh, No way what's a, a flower. It looks exactly like Penny. It took me a long time to breed. I wanted the colors Aww. to be exactly right. That's some gift. That's actually Turns really Penny sad. Isn't particularly interested in, so I go into her room and water the flower, change the soil. I like this game mechanic. Yeah, I gotta be honest. The first time this uh this ma like insert matching thing came up, I got worried because it seems like something that could be kind of difficult and clunky. But I I've been pretty satisfied with the Just difficulty of this so far. Keep it. Okay. So all right. Well, we learned that, I guess. That's really sad. He fucking bred a plant that looked like her as like a flower portrait and she hates it and doesn't realize. Did Freya draw these? Yeah. There's a note she on the was back. Even closer to... Uh... No, it's a bummer. There's a note on the back. I didn't know that. What's the note? Oh, it's right there. These are for you, love, Freya. What's that other... Oh, my bad. Combination is drawn on the other sheet. That doesn't look like the same paper, though. Yeah, not at all. Unless it's that. Or... Alright. Um, where should we go next? Let's talk to this guy. Let's move on. Quite the care of fellow member of the order. Is that a real thing? No, I just meant, you know. Has she questioned you yet? If you call that question, I heard on the grapevine. Something called the golden... Honestly, it's probably... You reckon? Quite sure. There How do you know? Because I would have heard of it. Fitz, I don't trust him. He's slippery. Never commits to anything. Brain like an onion. An onion? Did you two have an argument? No, oh, no. Uh, but my daughter doesn't like him at all. And I trust Fiona's judgment entirely. She's, she's a very vigilant young woman. <laughs> Poppy's a good friend to my daughter. I think they get on well. Different like how? Poppy is a uh, Fiona. Uh, Still, Poppy always seems to be so heavy, heavy price. Penelope seems to have really she struggled a bit. Which How come? Well, she was mostly raised by her uncle. And he really only makes... Now, of course, she's bringing the two... It's back. a nice gesture, but futile. Percival Pointer. Good old Percy. So, uh, what do you reckon? Uh, is he the murderer? <laughs> 
I don't know. That is not information. I'm just saying. Holds on to a lot of bitterness because he's always struggled. Slightly pathetic. And how long have you known? Over 35 years. Childhood friends? Don't know if I'd do him the honor. These drawings are... I'm surprised, Flora... What happened to the bird? I don't know. Seems likely, though, doesn't. That looks like it might be long. Bizarre things, huh? Penelope seems rather... You not feel sorry for that? Uh, come now, I I'm sure... Is that a clue? It might be. <laughs> the statue was up... Yes, it's been there. You can see the brass is slightly tarnished. It's not that. too bad. I've never been one for... Uh, why not ask? Oh, dear. Do you know who this is? Not a clue. Now, this is still in very... What about those shards on the inside? Looks like somebody broke a glass. Cunning. I've never seen that. Looks fa That looks like it. Why don't you ask? Looks like her. I'm just being lazy here. Freya was quite... She had a way of capturing the spirits. And not in an evil way. That's what I'm afraid. It's impressive. Uh... Hmm. It's unlike her to leave paint on the brush. I think we'll give her a pass. Ah, yes, so we shall. Does Florin normally... She must do, but I... Admit... Why not just ask her? I feel like if somebody... It's because they don't... Rules to live by. But that looks like it might... Flora's quite far. It's in poor. Do you know what happened to Can't her? say I... It would have been rather a shame Freya was on it. Nothing about it. Well, all these little modern. The emotion of the piece taking over from, say... What about the knife in Flora's hand? knife? That's what you see? You don't? Well, as I was saying, if I you say exactly what we're looking for? I'm as confused as you are. But that looks like it... Rather ugly, isn't it? Years of wind and rain have not been kind to it, huh? You know what it is? It's connected to the Remington family history. But, uh, I've got... What's this? It's my case file. You mean to say you're bound by the limit? Sounds dread. I found it comforting. All right. Let's take a look at this, uh... This thing. I'm still Should we take another look? Mom? All right, we got... What the fuck... Whoa, lizard this, time. Oh, this can't be solved. Okay. Let's come back later. Maybe that's like the end game puzzle, actually. Okay. Uh, in that case, I'm gonna talk to Poppy again. You should take a screen cap of Poppy and show it to Keen. I think Keen would like it. <laughs> yeah. She's a keen girl. No, yeah, no, you're right. It's funny. It was my mother's originally. So, why is it up in Flora's room? She just gets the most use out of it. Freya would borrow it too, some. I think everybody sees something different. Did Freya ever tell you what? Not exactly. She said something about it being from a recurring nightmare. Sorry, but if it was from a nightmare, why would you paint it and leave it in front of your bed? Maybe Maybe she wanted to take control of it. Yeah. Giving something a physical form. Well, sometimes. Did you find that in Pee-Pee's No, should we have? No, it's just, it looks like something she'd use. Never seen that one. No, we found uh, it. Right. Never seen that one. No. Uh, Okay. How sweet. Was that supposed to be Flora? Possibly. Oh. How nice. I wonder I wonder what the other half of this photo is. Is that Fifi's diary? That's where we Have you ever that. read it? Nope. I'm sure she would I thought you and Fifi. Yeah, we are. It's just Fifi's gotten kinda Do you know why? I'm not sure. I'm sure she Oh she would. She'd give it to me straight. Probably why I've been avoiding it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. We got a couple puzzles I never solved, actually. Uh, there's also the bird one. 
it's a bird. Are those real birds? Okay. Nope. There must be something to do with those white lines. <laughs> I sent this tweet to Jane. His response is really good. I sent him. I find that a lot of people are confused and upset about the Skyward Sword port being eighty dollars. So I'm here to break down the price for you so you can better understand what you're paying for. The one dollar Skyward Sword, seventy nine dollars HD Groose. And Jay says. Also, that isn't even ghost written by me. That's stolen from my brain. It's missing. I can see the spot in the dust where it was taken and I want it back. I, I'm sorry. Skyward Sword HD is $80? <laughs> yeah. That is $45 more than the maximum amount anyone should pay for one of the worst Zelda games. Fuck. I fucking hate Nintendo. <laughs> Ooh. Skyward Sword is a bad video game. Um, all right. Yeah, let's see. They said they look related somehow, so maybe they're I'm trying to figure out how that would be. Just gonna rest my brain. Yeah, let's check the family tree. I don't remember there being color. Like, what is? I think it's a family tree. All right. Don't really need to do that. Felicia. Damien Dusk. Damien Dusk. It's Freya. I guess he doesn't live here anymore. It's just Freya. Poppy pointing yeah. at her. She is one of the suspects. This Remington thing is interesting. Flora. We met her. She's one of the suspects. Fiona Fella. We met her. She's one of the suspects. Yeah, it's our bird. Pretty. Okay. Looking at this isn't gonna help me. Stairs. <laughs> Stairs. His fucking face! Look at the colors of the birds and think about bird breeding. Oh, is it a color mixing puzzle? It's a bird house. Okay. Oh, you don't have flux turned on, do you? That wouldn't make that much of a difference. All right, I just say it right now because I keep forgetting to turn mine on when I'll be doing color work and be like, why does this look so orange? I would not have thought of this. Okay. Got it. I'm impressed. Did the door open? Oh shit, Gruce's theme! Now I'll get her! <laughs> Why would you keep this? <laughs> hey Penny, what the fuck is this? Why do you keep a revenge note? <laughs> That's uh... Rather strange now, isn't it? We found it in your room. Just lying around, was it? Nope. You'd hidden it. We do that. Who's the her in the message? It's really none of your business. Yeah, well, I'm a detective, so... Cool. There's something about those petals. Some... Let's ask her about it. Uh, we so... found this. Oh, <laughs> that. That's nothing. You wrote, now I'll get her, on a piece of paper and hid it in your room. That's not nothing. Actually, it's not the It's those red flowers. The petals. They're from oh. red tulips. You think so? Shit. Maybe not. It's those red flowers. The I, petals. I double tap that from roses. They're from red roses. And there's only one place we in We need a clue. Something that should... Um... This one? It's a drawing of Fitz and Poppy. See what Fitz is holding? <laughs> I can't imagine what you're getting at. I couldn't have taken anything from the rooftop garden. Oh, maybe you hired the private eye to see if Fitz and what's or nuts are dating or something. It's only accessible from Fitz's room or Poppy's room. How could I have taken something from a garden to which I... 
Is it really only accessible for, for most people? It but be. don't forget, pennies. My dears, what are you accusing me of? was used to spy on Poppy and Fitz and steal evidence from them. We know those two have been spending time together in the rooftop garden. I'm guessing you got paranoid. I'm just not the jealous type. I would never suspect Fitz of anything like that. Besides, Tabitha hardly ever leaves her cage. She's certainly never flown up to the rooftop garden. We need a clue to compare with Penny's birds. Something to prove one of them. Let's take a closer look at these. This yellow feather was left behind by Penny's yellow bird when it visited the rooftop garden. hidden away up there in their private little garden. I couldn't risk spying on them myself, so I asked dear Tabitha to do it for me. I knew she'd be able to bring me back some evidence. Sorry, Penny, but are you not overreacting a little? You don't understand. Pitts is slipping away from me. He's so quiet with me these days. But being with Poppy seems to bring him out of his shell. I don't know what he sees in her miserable little... I apologize. This really isn't your burden to bear. Well, no, no further reason to talk about this. How do you feel about Poppy? <laughs> did you talk to Poppy already? Uh, yeah, a little and bit. And did you make any notes of what she told you? Oh, Lovely. Burn them. It'll all be <laughs> lies. Why would Poppy lie? Because one? that's what she does. She's a snake. Looks like one, too. Don't you think you're being a little unfair, Penny? She started it. I love this this track. She do. She do. All right. Now, what the fuck? You know? A, am I supposed to do with this? Oh, there's a... Okay. Maybe... There's a little hack about your paper. Looks like somebody's research. A golden beetle! Ha! <laughs> <coughs> Fends off predators with a loud hiss! That sounds like something that might be mistaken for metal that Poppy and Fitz heard. Okay. I wonder if this is based on the Edgar Allan Poe story nobody's ever read except me. Okay. So, we found some research. What's up with this golden beetle? I can't help you, I'm afraid. I think it must be something left behind. I'm not the first scientist to well, ever... it wasn't in the halls. It... <laughs> Just looking directly at them.
And what's this all about? I'm pretty sure the reason. If it's made of gold, then it's made of gold. And goodness. Okay. Oh, do you like bugs at all? There were. Oh, all the bug books are missing, aren't they? Bug? Summer now, the spiders are coming out because they're trying to find home, Jamie. Now, this oh, is interesting. Where did you find it? In the astronomy tower. And yet, it does not concern. Nope. In fact, you could even say that Entoma. Yeah, you could. I would not say that, however. Oh. One day I'll be brave enough to no, pick up those spiders by naive. hand. Ugh. Today oh. is not that day. To study science in any field is to study the kind of living or inanimate. We, we don't have any poison spiders here, so it, it's all just, it's all a just, book. you know. My book. <laughs> Pages. They're still kind of like, ugh. I believe Freya was attempting to communicate. Any idea what it was? I am not the person to ask. All I see is a blood red mountain with angry storm clouds. As such, I cannot ascertain. It is a model of Freya. Uh, a model of And a man with a beard. And a little red and white creature. Why would my father make a wooden carving of my father? Although, now that I look at I do not understand how he was able to paint the red parts without any red paint. Except for eyelashes, the place that they are. Hide and go seek peg with eyelashes. It is a flower. It reminds me of. Uh, I am scared. Why? It is an irrational fear. I have no. Oh. Freya drew these. Yeah, I think so. But she... Well, I think it was a gift for like you. Like a private thing between Freya and... Who is this her? Well, I... Then how can I meet him next? <laughs> oh, curious. This belongs to Poppy. In fact... What happened to It has been left underwater for an... Right? I do not know... Poppy leaves shards of glass. All what makes you think that you lives in the music room? What's wrong? Earmuffs do not go on statues. What? Any hints in here? Ow. There's a four on it. Do I have any other pieces of... I don't think so. Books about insects. Well, there's not a huh. A book? Fundamental... Hmm. I guess somebody dropped it. It's an illustrated it's been left or over. it was left ever so slightly unnerving. How about you, lady? Are you looking for the golden beetle? I haven't spoken with you in quite some time. Hmm. Where did you find this? Do you? Or who might have had I it? I have several theories. But they are my theory. You're fun. These people really are ridiculous, aren't they? <laughs> hmm. Does Flora still... Don't think so. I the see. Can you consider that... Three birds. What makes them worth? We cannot be happier flying. But then they might fly I away. I wonder if they would. Hmm. Do you also have a oh, not yet? Did you see? <laughs> one of three statues. This one. Perhaps they belong to someone who. They're not headphones. They're earmuffs. Perhaps they belong to someone who doesn't like music. Is that a clue? Don't know. It was. I framed my law degree. Doesn't make it a clue. <laughs> <laughs> Same, yeah. Who's that? Not sure. Stray. Some breed of. Animal. Although none of the. I guess. Well. Hmm.
half the room. I don't know if you can call Carla. the sudden absence of wall. Ah, a little warm. Wonder mate. how it's hooked up. It's another little. He's sound. playing He's also. No, they're not. And they're not headphones. They're earmuffs. Freya's painting supplies. I think the golden beetle was loud enough that it cracked all the glass. What? Like Freya's Do you know why the pots are? No, that's very odd. You seem pretty sure about that. Oh, okay. That man got you a book on Freya. his head? That's not Freya's room. Yeah. Okay, did I miss something in here? It's a little glass box. I think it's a Vivarium. Come again. It's See the lights and twigs in there? Might have been for keeping insects. Oh, yeah, she was keeping the golden beetle. Brushes. They're clean, but they look. Even though where so someone's been tracking in mud for that. Just a little trick. Let's leave them alone. That painting. Why? Maybe Frey and. Atmosphere? Hang on, there's a smaller version it's down there. It's a photograph. Plant. They must not. It's a little wooden box. To the casual observer. Ah, there we go. They're not real paintbrushes. Looks like they're part of some kind of lock mechanism. Okay. Tricky to not make the corner pieces only the corners. Okay. This doesn't help hugely, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Alright. Um, what? Orange first, I would say. I think that might be Wait, the, the... That's... This is the... Okay. This is a silhouette oh. of the brush shape. This is the I color, see. this is the length, this is the, uh, the handle. Gotcha. So... Wait, that doesn't make it... Okay. Short. Um... Green. Green. This could be this one. I 
did it. Not bad. What was in the box? Just a photograph. Well, most of a photograph. There's the other part. Okay. There's something about something. Let's ask Poppy about it. God, I love the suspicion indicator. I need to confirm something. Confirm so. away. What can you tell us about this cassette? Uh, it belongs to Freya. She liked to have music playing. And do you know what kind of music? No idea. Acid jazz? It's piano music. It sounds an awful. Sure, it doesn't belong to Why you. Why are we even talking about this? Cassette tapes have been redundant for a The bit. tape was found at the crime scene. It's not mine. I Why not? Not my color. You used to like these colors. Ugh, ridiculous. We need a clue to compare with the cassette tape. Something that... Oh! She was a sieve girl through and through! Uh, let's take a closer look at this. I don't remember if it was at the crime like scene. Player used by Poppy in this old photo. That is not me. Yeah, it is. I'll <laughs> prove it. You look a little different, but Fifi and Freya are pretty recognizable. It's clearly a photo of you with your two. Why'd you tear it up? and then hide it. I think the answer is pretty straightforward. <laughs> Poppy doesn't want to look That's like That's it. Her. Makes this whole thing seem... Maybe. The reason she doesn't want to... The passage of time is... Hold on. This means that pink cassette tape does belong to you, Poppy. It used to. I recorded some piano music onto it and gave it to Freya as a gift years ago. Freya could have easily been listening to this tape at the exact moment she was killed. There's gotta be a connection between the tape, the gramophone, and the murder. There's one other thing I want to know. How did it get that crack down the middle? I have no I idea. It. Bell jar. What do people normally Other keep? Than bells, you mean? Pretty. Ah, it's too cloudy. To it's see. also daytime. Pretty. It's a chart of the which planet? I... A picture frame with no picture. What is ah, it? It's a large. You're not wrong. Miss Tidy, mm. the notebook is untouched. So, even the most well used notebook. Miss Tidy, the notebook. So, even the most well used notebook. It's full Criminal. of tea. What? It's full of tea, but it's gone cold. Criminal. There's something I just expected. Oh, does it not complete? There's something kind of. I just expected. Oh, does it not complete? Uh, these leaves on the ground? There's something kind of. Oh, no. Okay. Crickets. Uh, they're clearly gizmo. Every astronomy tower. I want to try. Oh, okay. This is weird. It's the tower opposite this one. I can just about see the gramophone. It's the tower opposite this one. You can see right into Flora's room. Not by accident. I can see Flora, but she's not looking this Behind way. her is the back side of the easel holding Freya's unfinished painting. I can't really see anything behind it. I can see the doorway. The door itself is on the floor. Is that a window? I think it is. Is there another room? We should check that next time we're over there. It's that little plant. Don't you think it would fall off? Maybe it's glued down. It's the tower opposite this one. 
It's too dark back there. I can't see. It's the tower opposite this one. Might be everything. Isn't this supposed to be an I'm pretty sure you need I can't move it. I think this is just how it's set up. There's something about something. Let's ask him about it. Hey, weirdo. So, Professor? It's not a matter of being interested. Once you expand your mm -hmm. mind... And how it's not long? a book, it's a birdhouse. I really don't like to give exact values unless I'm... Convenient. Sure. Why do you ask me these things? I have a theory about oh? you. Oh? Go on. You're not really interested in... What could you possibly mean by that? I think you're interested in a slightly different field of research. Tiny, insignificant insects. My studies focus only on the inconceivably large and the unimaginably far away. Right. That's why you like using your telescope so much. Yes, naturally. My little... Yeah, about that. telescope was actually looking at the crime scene and not up at the sky first you accuse me of now you're accusing me are of you spying why would i why be because you lost your golden beetle specimen you think somebody stole it from you might not have been flora might have been freya it's you it's a very precious specimen incredibly rare valuable in ways you could freya was always sneaking around both towers and in the gardens too she was definitely up so this you were looking to flora's room around did you witness the crime no i didn't when i looked into the room flora was already lying on the floor flora you mean Freya? No, Flora. She was lying by the window. I couldn't see Freya at all. It was fairly dark. The telescope... That's why I decided to head over there myself. This I... changes your statement. No, everything I told you in my statement was true. Apart from the reason you left your town. Right. specific okay <laughs> we should check out all the rooms yeah that's the video game my dude you get some weird insects around here I've never seen one like that I'm not sure anyone has Freya might have she used uh... to... for fun I'll... those petals what about them uh, it's nothing and this is a photo of Fifi and Freya, right? Yeah. How come you're not in it? I'm not really one for photo. Fifi looks like she really admires. Fifi's loyalty to Freya is un Why is the glass cracked down one side? Natural wear and No way. Freya took When I first saw, I thought it looked like Flora was holding a You don't think that anymore? No. It was a stupid thing. The room was dark. But I it was. Blood. If you hadn't said anything, maybe. Exactly. It's stupid. But we would have missed out on an important... Is it a clue? Tell well, me how it's a clue. Nothing about the knife makes any... It's just freaking everyone out. I wish I'd never said anything. I see a lot of birds up in the rooftop garden. They seem to really like it up there. Why is that? It's quiet. Do you know where those... I put them there. Why? Found them lying around. I think they belong to Fitz. I put them on I the. I thought stack. they looked like headphones, like he's in the recording studio with his guitar. No. If they <laughs> do belong to Fitz, he hasn't taken them back yet. When did you find them? This morning. Where? I don't know. In a hallway. Okay. Whose paints are those? They belong to Felix, I think. That's supposed to be possible. Oh, how nice. That belongs to Flora, I think. 
Freya would always load up the palette with all the exact colors she was gonna I think it helped her zone out, like getting all your sheet music like. Right. Flora's dress, yeah. She wears even more black than I do. What was inside? Nothing. Huh. So there are two fellows. Mm -hmm. Three pointers and five fellows. Four fellows. What's the connection between there them? There isn't one. Not really. It was all built by the Remington family. Flora is a Remington, originally. So was Primrose. My mother. She married into the Pointers, and Flora married into the Fellows. So, the Fellows and the Pointers? Flora owns the house. Depending on who you ask, that means her husband Felix owns it too. What about your father? His claim over the house kind of fell Where's apart. your mother now? No idea. This is mine. Really? No, well, yes, it was. I gave it to Freya about a year ago. What was on it? Nothing. It was blank. Any idea how it ended up underwater? Maybe someone wanted to destroy it, but got really lazy. Maybe she was trying to record the beetle as a weapon? There's something I know. Hit me. From what we could tell, the blade went in at an exact rate, and there's only one small pool of blood. The whole thing is just a small. I think it's kind of cool to keep three birds in one cage like that. Does Penny not? Oh, she does. She must do. But I don't. Penny can be a little. There's something about that. Some... Let's ask her about it. Diary thief? We found it in your bedroom. Of course it is mine. Ridiculous question. Why is it locked up like that? Would you seriously require an explanation? Very well. A fairly common concept, the so-called secret diary, is favored in particular by girls between the ages of 10 and... So, there are secret... This particular diary is unused. It doesn't look unused. It's somebody Fuck. else's... How could you arrive at that? It is kept in my bedroom. We it... need a clue to the... Oh, okay. Uh, the original diary. Okay. Is that the diary? Let's take a closer look at this. the same thing as the secret diary, which proves maybe. it belonged to Freya. Maybe it's you were hiding Freya's diary in your Why life. would I do either of anyone to see personal secrets within Freya's diary. Is this true, Fifi? I know Freya was your friend, but if you're trying to hide something... You did not know Freya, so this might be difficult to understand. She did her own thing, in her own way. By concealing Freya's written accounts, it is simply my intention to preserve her innocence. Innocence? Might be easier if you just let us read the diary, Fifi. Very well. I will open it. However, as you read it, please remember, Freya was the most kind and the most wise person I have ever known. All right, the finally. What's in there? It's back in the flesh this time. Was it me? Did I let it out? Maybe I should rip up that painting. Soul Bearer Works. Impressive little thing. I have two now. Need two more. I found my way into the middle, surprisingly simple compared to the harp. I saw them, all five, eyes blacked out. Despite everything, I still have a promise to keep. I'll still do my best. She could do with a little company. What is soul bearer? I remember that word. And... Freya was definitely- Something to do with the statue. Maybe we should go back and check. Oh. The little crab! 
This wasn't here before. What is it? It's a little wooden toy. There's a note. What does it say? Grimoire? What? Oh. Oh. This is my new friend. He likes music and simple melodies will move his soul. Best of luck, you two, Freya. Oh, okay. What do you think? How? Why don't we check the handwriting? Good idea. Well? It's a perfect match. Well, it's because we have a ghost helping us. Let's keep this to ourselves. What about the little... Maybe we can put it to some kind of... Oh, right, there's a secret room in the attic. I didn't even remember that. It's one of those big pianos. Don't touch it. Why not? Might be haunted. Yeah, it's mine. Can you play the two? Sure. It's little. Okay, it's like an M with... Oh! Okay. Piano is an M with two dots. Got it. Uh, what else do I need to get heard? Let's let's hear. All right, a bell, lips, and a bird. Gramophone was correct. You need to wait like two more seconds. Okay, thank you. Oh. Attic might be a bell tower, you're right. It's piano music. It's a statue of a wolf, standing up straight. You know, there's a name for that. I know. It's not quite as dusty as everything. Also, it's not a statue. It's stuffed. At least the moths are kept well fed. Someone painted out the window. Do you think it was done recently? No idea. Either way, it's pretty suspicious. Just dusty junk. Where's that light coming oh, from? It's just daylight, I think. There's a decent gap between those floors. Is that what I think it is? Oh, the true murder location. Is that what I think it is? Is that what I think it is? Okay. 
What's in that little box? I bet it's bones. A skull, at least. You know, maybe I won't open it. What is that? Not sure. Looks like it might attach to something. You're the real thingy. It's not a fake thingy. Brass reel with a screw at the top. Okay. Someone painted Do you think up it was the idea? Either way, it's pretty suspicious. Nothing catching my interest. Sorry, is this spooky attic boring you? Kinda. Nothing catching my Sorry, is Kind this... of. Sally, you don't have a dust allergy, do you? No. Do you? Let me put it this way. Tush! Just dusty junk. My daughter Fiona. They grow up so. Do you know why it's ripped? Ah, yes. No idea. Uh, what is it? We don't know. My friends, shed your hope. That's the most depressing idiom I've ever heard. Alright, duh, 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 duh. I actually forgot this room even existed. Don't think it's locked. Oh, that means we I'm pretty sure that's the rule, yeah. Leading towards the stone. That's all for So, me. what? Should we go back? Let's try this again. You know, I think we might be able to solve this. Gotta be right. Nothing. Maybe it's broken. Wait, do you hear that? Are we gonna go in? Yeah, Secret but entrance. there's a couple of things I want to do first. It's quiet. Mm -hmm. You're supposed it's to... not. It's an appropriate amount of quiet. Glad I correctly called that being the end game puzzle. A photograph of Freya. Could be important. Paints? Yep. Paints? Mm-hmm. What is that? I'm not sure. Why don't you go back and double check the area you found it? Maybe you'll find the rest of the something else. I'm not so sure about that. I'd tell him not to quit. But he hasn't got one. These figurines remind me of a it Turned out to be a bit of a smoke screen. Your yes. life sounds fun. Grimoire, why don't we ever have fun adventures like that? Are we not having a fun adventure right at this very moment? <laughs> the people here are surprisingly material materialistic. Growing this fruit simply because For of what possible purpose? You're speculating. What would you do, Grimoire, if you could grow value? You got it open. I managed it myself yesterday. I thought Flora might be hiding something in there. It was empty yesterday, too. It was. Perhaps it's open. The paint is still wet. Yeah, well, we know Freya was... Do you know that? How? Because you were told? 
A book from the library. One of what makes this one special? It's about birds. Yes. I see that. A diary. Have you read it? I Not love yet. It's locked. And I love the guy's VA. Oh, you mean story? Edwin Tion. Uh, cheating. <laughs> I admit, Freya was a talent. Someone even liked it. Now, we don't know why they took Perhaps they just want... I believe that was in... But it was not. A somewhat... And an altogether inefficient... What kind of music do you like? I, I like anything. <laughs> what a cop-out. Makes quite... Although I can't imagine why she... You didn't see a knife anyway. I did not. I conclude whatever stabbed... Unless... Surely you don't believe in a detective's job. Hmm. Where'd you dig that up? It wasn't buried. Someone trying to... Con Have you deciphered the meaning We're of... We're working That's on... That's a no then. <laughs> you truly can... What's wrong with it? No organization. That's my style. I like seeing everything... How quaint. Tangle Tower. No idea why they insist on... It's little more than a pair of turrets. Have you... I believe so. He wants to know if you found it. Huh. I'm afraid the residents of Tangle Tower are far too I was disappointed. I'll say this. He's That's a nice way to put it. Fitz spends most of his time. But I heard he's been breeding. Whoa. Well, scandal. I just wonder if he's getting. Poppy has remarkable. She could be famous. Oh, she'd probably have to leave. Quite. I think I'm gonna I go find to bed. it rather embarrassing. Good Little more than a snack. must have be at least 25. 27. Just makes it worse. Professor Pointers are a spec. Keeps himself to himself. What? We're just surprised. That was the most polite euphemism. Yeah, okay, so Pointer is her client. Yeah, that's everything, so. Whatever. It's Tangle Tower, at least. It's the. Whatever I've got with her. Do, do, do. Hello? I guess I could just bell it. There's no reason to sit here. We should talk to Fitz. Well, <laughs> here we are. Okay. I don't know what that is. Me neither. Me three. Oh. I thought you said me too. It's Fifi and Fred. Don't you think Poppy? Maybe. Maybe. She doesn't really like crowds. Two people. Right. Is... But if she was in the Check book. Checkmate. Paints are different to flowers. I'd say so, At any yeah. time, flowers can bloom with paint. Once you've tainted Not it. even the most skin. I've seen beetles with brightly colored shells. They're relatively common. There's a difference between that and action. I can't be action. Well, this just inside the earth is called alchemy. Those petals. They, uh... What? They're red. <laughs> Poppy's piano music. I remember when she started. She's improved a lot since yeah, then. Yeah, that's general. Right. Wait. Those are mine. The earmuffs. They went missing. Oh, there we ago. go. What do you need earmuffs I for? use them for gardening sometimes. Yeah, you gotta weed whack. Why? You don't. No. I wear them while I'm gardening, and it stops people from trying to talk to me. <laughs> that's genius. That's funny. Is that is that what I was looking for? Not entirely. Okay. We found these up in the... Do you know how long... No. We don't... Why not? Nature is unruly. Felix made that. That's quite sweet, really. That looks like it might... That belongs to Pop. So why is it up in Florida? I'm not sure. What do you think that I is? I don't know. It does look... But Flora wasn't but holding... What? There's... When we went into Flora's room... She well, wasn't... she probably would have moved around a little she bit. She wasn't standing at all. She was kneeling on the floor. Okay. It's of no interest to me, but I overheard Poppy and Frey. What were they saying? They were arguing, but I can't remember the details. Okay. Who gave you that information? Uh, we don't actually know who. We were contacted anonymously. I see. And what happens if the person who contacted I you... I never... Honestly, know. that would be kind of fun. A nice painting gives you a pretty good idea of the, the lake. Life. Looks like it forms a. It might seem strange, but nature is quite capable of. And those mountains. We don't know much about them. Not even Freya could have What's gone. What's that? This painting. It's. Spectrum. There are no photographs from this angle as so far. So Freya. Let's call it an. In it's an egg. With it was locked. Fun story. <sighs> There's something. Awful. What is it? Why don't you take another look at Flora's room? You think we missed a clue? Not up there? exactly. There's something off about this. What is it? 
Hmm. Why don't you take? You enough? think we missed a clue? Not exactly. Okay. Freya's best work. Although the photo doesn't. Why do you think it's a painting? What of? do you mean? Like, what's the subject? Oh, I don't think it's that kind of painting. Huh? What? Freya's best work, in my opinion. Although the photo doesn't carry the same energy as the real thing. What do you think it's a painting oh. of? What do you mean? Like, what's the subject? Oh, I don't. Looks like someone does. That's the main. What's with the bro? Okay. This is a potential. I don't know. I don't think the. I think you'd be surprised. Okay. Oh, that's the attic. That's not right. I'm so used to it being the top left room, I didn't even... Hello, lady. The outline... There's a single pad. No real... That's sign. weird. What? Her feet were right up by the canvas. So? So she was probably... I'll check the case file again. No weapon found at the scene. Book covered in dust now, but they look we already solved it. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, there might be a reason for that. It sounds somehow the sunlight. Photograph is my favorite photograph. So that was not me. Besides, it was not a half that was written. It was only a third. Is this yours? I do not recognize it. And besides, I would have no use for such. Perhaps a it could be used to hang wet laundry. It, was that a joke? Yes. <laughs> what a mess. Penelope should tidy up. Uh, these weren't dropped by Penny. I think. My argument stands. Fifi, did you test the red Yes, I did. I discovered it too, was blood. A whole pot full of blood? Not a whole pot. It is only part Yeah, but still. No. In fact, it may... What? The fruit here has... It makes them complete. Unless you wish to cut it down and sell it's it. It's not edible. Depends. On what? On the structural integrity. The red paint on the brush is not paint. Same for the palette. So Freya added the blood. Or blood got on the brush. Do not know the answer. The statue itself does but I do wish to know about Have them. you deciphered their meat? We're working. We are. Freya is normally high, but in this painting, she has accidentally made Flora look quite young. Huh. I think she was just being. Why is that? Anyway, I'm far more interested in what Flora... I performed the test on the red paint myself. What made you want to test? It was Poppy. She told me she thought the paint... I told her not to be ridiculous. But then I noticed that the color was slightly too dark. You noticed that just from looking of at... Of course. It. That belongs to my mother. I think she must be... There are a number of egg-shaped... Yeah, of uh, what... Some the... people... I require facts. Well... Correction. There was no knife found. Apart from the one in which, the Which, as a mere app, nobody has ever been stabbed. What is your opinion? Oh, it's impressive. Elaborate gardens. Must be worth a fortune. Why do you ask? I am the heir of the fellow. Family. This makes me the sole beneficiary. That's quite an inheritance. They can't make you do anything. If you don't want the house, just or just sell it. Who cares? You sound like her. Oh. There There's we something go. About Felix something. Let's ask him about it. There's a lot suspicious about Felix. Everyone else at least has like a little bit going on. Nothing about this clown adds up. You're very strange. So, about this paint we found in your room. Nothing suspicious about it. I used it to do totally to normal things. You never said it was suspicious. <laughs> Come on then, out with it. What exactly are you accusing me of? It's not your paint. What on earth? Look, 
The lead That's not the end of the discussion. We need a clue to come something to prove. Let's take a closer look. I'm wondering if I can point out the color somehow. blue paint pot is exactly the same as Felix's red paint pot, but the lids were swapped to hide it. Nope. Okay. I mean, there's a lot strange. I'm not exactly sure what I'm supposed to say. This one's full of blood, right? Is full of... I can't say blood. That doesn't... That's not right. this because I can't say it's full of blood it wasn't stolen and replaced with this one was stolen and replaced with this one green lit yeah. that's not a separate thing it's pretty much gotta be his pot right swap the fort thing Broken by Felix. Oh yeah, his this one isn't broken, which is interesting. Freya had noticed, but the lids were swapped. Isn't this what I said? Can you not swap the evidence? I don't think you can. I think no matter what you do, this is always the second one. What, what am I supposed to do here? Okay. Alright. Isn't Freya's red Isn't this what I did? This red paint pot, oh, but the lids okay. were swapped to hide it. That red paint is from Freya Supplies, not yours. So, and I'm sorry, shouldn't... This is the first time I've taken issue with one of these. They, they should have reversed the evidence there, right? Am I crazy? Swapping the lids doesn't hide what you did. Why are you bothering me about painting? All right. Alright. This red paint pot was somehow filled with blood before Freya used it to paint Flora. Oh, that, uh, that's definitely something. Right. Fine. Here's the story. I was busy working on a project when I suddenly realized I had run out of red paint. There was a certain amount of uh, the time pressure just for a little while, you know, perfectly. But she said no. I tried to explain why I. So uh, I took Freya's red paint pot and swapped it with my own empty one. You went into her room? Not my proudest moment, uh, but it's just paint. And the paint pot you left behind? Uh, quite. I have absolutely no idea how it got blood in it. Why it's... were you in such a hurry to get a hold? I was trying to finish this in time for Flora's birthday. I needed red to paint the final detail. Could you not have just used a different color? Out of the question. It had to be if red. If you managed to finish it, why haven't you... Uh, well, I decided against it. It seemed a bit uh, insensitive. Let's go over what we know about the crime scene. Okay. We know a little more about the crime scene now. So, what do you think? 
Was Freya stabbed by her own painting? What? I don't know where to start here. Oh, wow. Okay. Blood from the paint pot was used to paint over a model of Felix so it could stab Freya. Nope. <laughs> yeah, I, this is the first one I actually don't know, so i um, not sure where to start. Where did the blood come from? Blood in this paint pot. cheat on the second one, then I'll do the second. Was used to paint the tip of... To distract Freya. No. To resemble a bloody Blood knife. Blood the paint pot was used to paint the red tip of the painted ink dip feather to resemble a bloody knife. I think you're right. I can't decide if I'm disappointed or relieved. I have a question. Why? Either it's a very strange coincidence, or somebody set it up. Somebody deliberately put blood in the paint pot and hid that feather after the crime. Why? To distract us? Possibly. Well, it worked. Possibly. Flora's the only person who could have hidden the feather, unless someone took it from her. Let's go over what we do know. The door was locked the whole time. It stayed locked until Fitz kicked it down. Normally, it can only be open. Pointer said he couldn't see Freya from his telescope, but he did see Flora lying by the window. So whatever got Freya got Flora too? Except Flora survived. Hold she on. If there was no knife, then what did uh, It could be anything. How is it not important? Right now, I'm less interested in the what and... The angle of Freya's wound suggests she was stabbed at a perfect right angle. That is, from directly in front. But she was standing right up by the canvas. Somehow, Freya ended up lying on her back, still perfectly. Maybe something went through it. Through the painting? Wouldn't that leave a hole? Okay, well, how, how do we know Freya was stabbed before she fell over? Maybe her being stabbed in her... Okay, so she got knocked out by the loud noise and then someone stabbed her from the attic. Uh, okay. Where do we go, fellas? We should talk to Fitz again. Really? What do we need to talk to Fitz about? People, I guess. She was always kind to me. She'd come into the greenhouse sometimes by herself, sometimes with Poppy. Eventually, they started about asking. What? Poppy wanted to learn about flowers. Freya, she used to ask me about the insects. Insects? One of my jobs is to protect plants from things. Freya brought me this little glass box. She'd say, put all the troublemakers in there. Every day, I'd put a handful of beans. Then she'd come along, and I didn't really understand her. But she was always kind. I imagine you don't know, but I still see point. He's always curious about what I'm asks me about the birds, too. He's pretty clued up on his evolutionary biology. I didn't think there was much oh. She questioned me. About what? My work. Did she what? search the greenhouse? No, she you did. sure? Maybe she... No, she hasn't touched it. How can you tell? Trust me. I can tell. I like Flora. Do you I... think she had anything to do? There's no way. She wouldn't willingly cause any addition for anyone. 
Felix is a contradiction. His loyalties are placed firmly within the realm of materialism, but his ego relies on an entirely fraudulent self-image, don't you think? Ah, uh, I was just about to say the same thing. There's something about Hawkshaw's hand. Something. Let's ask her about it. I'm curious what the thing I was missing for this was, because I don't know anything about Hawkshaw, except that she's lying about her microscope being a spyglass. This little microscope You thing? said you used... And this would make perfect sense. If you knew Of course. I, I still have no intention. You're such Don't worry. We already worked out what you're not as hopeless as you Thanks. look. So, that's what you were looking Surely for. Surely even you... The greenhouse is home to a the gardener could have easily kept the beetle. Well, Fitz said you questioned him. Mm. He's not exactly he simply didn't notice that I was using my microscope. What do you reckon, Grimoire? I know for a fact she didn't use the microscope in the greenhouse. It's not a microscope. All of a sudden, Detective Grimoire... Handheld microscope, according to Fifi, uses a telescopic lens. So Hawkshaw lied about it. I'm inclined to believe. Hawkshaw, why did. When you were a child, what did you aspire to become? Uh. a detective, naturally. Emperor of a galaxy, I wanted to be an astronomer. Really? I harbored a desire to understand the secrets of the wider universe. A fool's errand, to be sure. But a seductive one. At 15, I decided instead to apply my intelligence to the world around me. And so, I became a detective. But the yearning for elusive knowledge is a powerful force. I tried to keep it with me. Sorry, but we're way off track. What's the deal with the little telescope? A memento. In my childhood. Little more than a toy. Why did you bring it with you? When I discovered that it was Professor Pointer who had hired me. I dared to consider it something of a planetary alignment. I had hoped he might sign my telescope. An extremely That's childish adorable. indulgence, I admit. I never would have guessed. Hold on. You're admitting you didn't use it in the greenhouse then? Correct. As it happens, I have no need to search the greenhouse to such a degree. Professor Pointer doesn't consider the gardener a suspect in our theft investigation. So who is your suspect? Things have become complicated. My lead suspect is your murder victim. Are we done? For now. It's about time we found out what's beneath the garden. Where do you think it goes? Down. Bugs, bugs, bugs. Bugs. Big ones. Looks like they're made of metal. It looks like they're being boiled, but the liquid is ice cold. It looks like the liquid is ice cold. A cracked glass tank with each one has one or two inside. I can't tell if they're still alive. I like that you called them rooms. What's in there? Nine beetles, all different, all dead. Poor little guys. Now there's a bunch of notes written. It's on mostly numbers. No idea. It's a hatch. But we're already. Depends on your perspective. Let's not. We still it. haven't explored this room properly. Is it locked? Seems likely, doesn't it? Weird looking safe. I'm pretty sure the latches can slide into the middle. Interesting. That is neat.
This is a cool safe. Oh, that's so close. That's frustrating. trying to make a yeah, path. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm just trying things. Tell me if it's bad. All right. No? Oh, maybe this? Oh. Yeah? Can I put this on top of it? No, okay. They, they have a set layer. There we go. That's the one. Hey, not bad. Cool. Anything inside? Yeah, more research. Ah, then that's the missing beetle one. I was wondering if that thing from under the lake would show up, since that and the bird were also on the uh, family portrait. Okay. Our unique flora and fauna is the byproduct of an, uh, a number of as yet unidentified chemicals. These chemicals are continually present in the water, forming clouds and filling the <clears throat> lake. This causes a variety of mutations in plants and animals. Oh, is the is the twist that the lake, when they drain it, this does become a single tower? Smaller creatures, such as arachnids, insects, mollusks, amphibians, and crustaceans, are most affected. However, the chemical may travel up the food chain and cause mutations in birds and reptiles. As far as we know, mammals remain completely unaffected. Whose research is this? This is some seriously in-depth research. It's impressive, but it's incomplete. So, this is Pointer's secret lab. Definitely seems like he's the one using it. I guess not a lot of people know about the secret entrance. Right. But if Pointer's the only... Why would he need to lock his research in a safe? He's just paranoid. Especially... What do you think he's trying to do, exactly? Pointer has been trying to breed the Golden Beetle in the underground laboratory. Why? Because Money. it's rare? Because it's gold. Is that it? I think so. I don't think he cares about entomology anymore. He just wants to get one over on Felix. If he can breed his own gold, suddenly Poppy's inheritance is looking pretty... Uh... Infinite. Might explain why he was so worried about... Maybe the... somebody did steal it. Might have been Freya after all. We know she was trying to get through the secret... But she might not have known what was down here. Maybe she was just curious. Curious? Sure. I reckon she knew what was going on. Yeah, I think we're still missing the bigger picture. There's no way this is all just about a beetle. We're done. Ready to go down? Again? Too late. This photograph has been stabbed. <laughs> Why? By what? Not sure. Some kind of metal stabbing thingy. Ah, yep. So what's the photo?
It's been framed, but is slightly damp. The photograph shows a young girl. A large man is sitting next to her. Around them are several red and white birds. A metal object was stabbed into the photo, leaving a hole near the man's chest. Oh. Do you know who it is in the photo? A single book. This is creeping me out. Why? I think it's a children's book. Soul bearer. Okay, it's this crab thing. Ink dip. Amphobi. Silver snake. Mistids of the sea and sky. A children's picture book. It looks very old. The ink dip. An elegant bird with red and white plumage. The silver snake. An aquatic reptile with no eyes and a long tongue. The soul bearer. A crab with three differently sized claws. The amphobi. A frog-like creature walking on two legs. Old cardboard boxes. How exciting. Oh, but there's more. They're also damp and empty. It's an old coat rack. Two Looks cloaks and a green hood. Gives off kind of a dungeon vibe. What do people actually use chains for? Nothing good. Basements don't know. Or at the bottom of a lake. It must be. Right. But if that's the lake bed. Like what? White, smooth, no plants. That's not what a lake looks like. Where are we? Is this a clock tower face? This man, he reminds me of something. Oh boy, he reminds you of... I don't know, sorry, what am I looking at? Um... I mean, it's probably just... It's probably just Flora's father, right? Um... No. No. I don't know this one offhand. It reminds me of this. That's not right. That's not right. Painted models. Okay. That's not right. Felix made a little model of him for Flora. Yeah. Makes sense when you know who he is. Oh, God. Remington? Lord Remington. Remington. Meaning the girl in the... Yeah, floor. it's her. See the bird, too. I never would have guessed. Time. I don't know. I don't think she... Did you notice how much light this room has? It's all coming through the window. I'm pretty sure a lake's Why also... is there a room down here anyway? And why is it so much older than we the... We still Rem don't really know why people... Maybe they just wanted to get rich. I why? feel like the Remingtons came here for the lake. It's empty, though. It is now, yeah. Maybe we're too late. This room looks like... Oh, it makes the rest of the house... Old car. How exciting. Oh, but they're also they're... dead, empty. Do these puddles worry you? Why? That's lake water, but it's indoors. Ah, I see your point. This room looks old. Like it makes the rest of the house. There's a roll of paper. Up I'll there. see if. Let I... me guess. another secret room study wait I know what you're thinking and no how did we miss it that's the room. it's not labeled. I think it already existed this seems great a roll of parchment on which the drawings for a grand mansion have been drawn a horizontal line marks where the lake was before, and a second marks where it is now. The mansion has been built on top of a large structure above the lake, supported by pillars. Freya's room is listed as storage. The room labeled study is in the center. Let's head back. I want to find a... Wow. How long were we down there? This must be. How are we supposed to get? Hang on, but I think there's a switch. 
a ladder. Want to go up? You hate to see this. Do those look like scratch marks to you? Yeah, they're on the inside. That's no good. It's a wooden pin board. Hung up on one of Looks the like there's a couple of things missing from it. What the? It's a wooden pin board. Hung up? Looks like there's a couple of things missing from it. This is the, uh... The drawing, the red, the red painting. I guess I can't do anything with it. Coffee table. Hat. I'm gonna say someone can place it enough to leave their notebook lying around. Fifth ambassador located, finally. Can't say I harbored any optimism, but still somehow disappointed. No better than the rest of them. I took my misted friend into the music room for experiments. It works, perhaps too well. The laboratory was another disappointment. All that effort for what? He's even more short-sighted than I could have guessed. Went to the bottom, nice view. It had been mostly cleaned out, but I have what I need. She got in, she was careful. Nothing was moved, but I know, it's time. It sounds like it might be here. Crumpled up. Is there anything written? Not really. It's mostly blank. An axe and some kind of hunting knife. Honestly, mark. doesn't. I'm more worried about the third one. The third one? The one that isn't there. Dragon. Snake. Worm? That's the one. You know, in any normal room, this thing would be my main concern. In here, though, it barely makes the top three. Is that a crab? It's got a translucent exit. Also, crabs normally have. Yeah. Are you sure we should be touching it? Grimoire, don't you think it looks. Ew. I don't. I don't like this. I hate this a lot. I need to look at what this crab really reminds That little wooden. Yeah, but I don't think I think I've seen it more recently. Yeah. I'm um I don't remember what position it was in. Okay, up close, ding ding, and they're both pointing both pointing oh. top right. Is that a it's got also a Close to this. I guess that's... I don't think we need to what get do you mean? We have all the information we need in our case file. Uh, I don't. Re I'll just screen cap it, I guess. This crab. That little yeah, but I think I've seen it more. I wish I could open my evidence while looking at that thing. Okay. Okay, got that. Move this over. Click. Is that a crime? It's got a also Perfect. What's this? Something somebody didn't want us to find. Oh. someone trying to hide it? I don't know. I want to know what happened to the rest of it. Where are the other parts? We found them already. I think that might... But not this part of the crossbow. Oh. Oops. Uh... Okay. Might but not this part of it. I wish I could go back and look. Okay. Uh, can I deselect this one, please? No, I, I have to pick this. That doesn't. We need something that could have. Please let me get out back out of this. 
Nope, okay. Great. Uh-oh, that doesn't bode well. Oh, I'm stupid. That's no good. What do you make of it? It's a crossbow. Sure. Let's keep an open mind. You don't think the crossbow is the Oh, no. The crossbow is definitely the murder weapon. But that doesn't mean we've solved the mystery. Okay. Who are all the people? Not sure. But it looks like someone didn't like their eyes have all been crossed out. The photograph in a sturdy wooden frame. It's dusty and looks several years old. The brass plaque at the base of the frame reads, The Ambassadors of Misted Mansion. The photo shows two women and three men wearing a variety of different styles of clothing. All five people have had their faces crudely covered with black ink. Another photograph. Their faces are all crossed out. That's weird. Oh, you think so? Uh, no, I mean, Sally, did we meet? Well, the woman on the left looks a little... And at first, I thought the guy on the top right was Felix. But now that I look at it... Okay, so that's all the people who suddenly went missing. Nice rug. A wooden stool. Those aren't bird cages. Some of them are disconcertingly large. At least they're all empty. You sure that's a good thing? Some kind of fish. That's we're talking, talking about a 15-foot bird here. Well, how about we stop talking about it? Do those look like scratch marks? Yeah, they're on the inside. An incinerator built into the wall. It's still pretty. Is there anything left it's inside? Mostly ashes. But yeah, there's something. That's not good. Oh no! No! Not the feather! Someone's been using it. I don't get it. This room is in the original building plans for the map. Nowadays, it's some big secret? It's not a secret to everybody. At least one other person. The way the notebook was Makes left. me think it's someone who has the room. Whoever it was, they left more. There's a whole design problem. Feels like someone put quiet. That's a, a shame there are things missing from it. I'm betting it'd make more sense if... That might not be... from Freya's Did Freya design Detective Hawkshaw's clothes? I don't think that's why Freya made But it may have been why somebody took a photo of it. As for those sketches of Hawkshaw, I don't think Freya actually drew them. It was somebody else. Someone with less... doesn't exactly narrow it. Should we go ask... I'm the... not sure. We still don't know what's... Re I'll be honest, I have no idea who did it. to solve this. <laughs> That's not a good thing I just said then, is it? Okay. All right. Break out. Time to put it all together. Let's start with this. It's an arrow for the crossbow and it matches Freya's wound. It's the murder weapon. I'm sure of it. Despite the fact it doesn't have any blood on it. Mhm. Mm it was cleaned. Yeah. I don't think anybody expected us to get down to that room at the bottom. Okay. So Freya was shot by a crossbow. Where was it fired from? It was fired from above. Above, huh? Yeah. Our diagram doesn't show everything. Let's add in the rest of the crime scene. The attic. Perfect hiding place. We even found a part of the murder weapon up there. The reel was used to pull the arrow back Explains up. Explains why we never found a weapon at the crime scene, I guess. The murderer must have dropped the reel in the attic. I'm guessing they were in a hurry to escape. Wait. The arrow was fired through the... Yeah. It's directly above... Nope. Where? Doesn't add a... Would have missed her. 
if she was still standing up by the painting. Ah, right. Unless... Freya was already lying. I think so, too. She'd fallen unconscious. Something in the room caused Freya to fall unconscious. The gramophone. Right. But the gramophone by itself can't do that. Oh, I think it's the Beatles scream, but I don't know which of these it was. Is the music being played? Was it recorded? I mean, it doesn't really matter. There is something in the room. Pointer's research says it can emit an incredibly loud Hoppy and Fitz both said they heard a loud noise. Neither of them... This seems a little far-fetched. No, it? I don't think so. Not by itself. But don't forget, it was being amplified by the shape of the gramophone. Now, I don't think we're purely talking about volume either. It might just be a particular type of frequency. This is getting kind of scientific. Since when do you know anything about the effects of weaponized... I don't, but I think... Do you remember that statue we found? The horn it's playing. It's a pretty similar... That broken glass isn't there, Matt. Thinking about it, Pointer said he saw Flora was knocked out too. I guess they were both in range of the noise, although Pointer might have been lying. Personally, I think he was telling It's the pretty clear. A powerful frequency caused quite a bit of damage. <laughs> Those cracks didn't debray us paints, the pink cassette tape, and the gramophone itself. Uh-oh. I mean, if, the, if that was on purpose, then only one person had noise-canceling headphones. They all sustained similar damage while they That's some seriously enough to crack metal. Enough to knock yeah, some... Yeah, that's the one thing I don't get. If the frequency was so powerful and had such a big range, how did the murderer pull it off? Wouldn't they have been in range? Think about it. They can't... They were Fuck. Further away. Really? No, no, god damn it. Uh, that might be the only thing I don't like about this game's UI. If you are clicking forward on the left side of the screen, there is literally no time before it, it pops in. Damn it. From the they protected, they protected themselves. themselves. How? Earmuffs. These are some pretty... I think they'd be enough to block up. Right. Let's go. One. Freya is painting Flora's portrait. Two. The murderer is hiding in the attic. Three. The golden beetle. Hold on. How did it know? The beetle? Yeah. What triggered Pointer's it? research said it makes the noise when uh, it... I'm not sure. Maybe. <clears throat> Four. Freya and Flora are both knocked unconscious. Freya lands on her back. She drops the brush and palette by her side. Five. The murderer fires the crossbow directly downwards. Six. The arrow is pulled back up on the reel. Seven. The murderer leaves the attic. Presumably. Eight. The door is kicked down. Fitz and Poppy enter the room. That's it. There's something bothering me. What? I just want to check something. Let's go back to the crime scene. for how dark it is. The answer is in the painting. I'm sure of it. The answer is in the painting. I'm sure of it. Am I supposed to select something? Maybe the bird preyed on those beetles, so it sees it, the feather as a threat? Yeah, the only thing I can think of is the feather or the blood on the feather.
Other birds are often aggressive towards it. I can see the stars. There were... There's two plants in the picture, but there's only one here. The answer is in the painting. I'm sure of it. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to, like, be presenting something somewhere or what exactly. It's dark. Freya, did you leave us a clue? The yellow isn't touched. So what's bothering you? Something that's not here. We know she was holding it during the painting. Flora's ink dip. It was here. In this room. Where'd it go? Ah. Uh... I actually, I don't know. We found it somewhere else. I don't think we found it. We never found it. You sure about that? Not entirely. Laura's ink dip. It was here. In this room. We must Where'd have. Where'd it go? We found it somewhere else. Yeah, we found it. It's. Um. <laughs> hmm. No. Oh right, duh! I'm so stupid. I forgot that we, we just picked this up. To save it. So it was stolen and ended up in the insert. someone wanted to destroy it. I guess. But how? How was it? Presumably, st Flora dropped it when she fell unconscious. Yeah, and then what? The murderer couldn't have stolen it if they were up in the attic. So the question: How could they steal something from a room they weren't able? To? Birds. The final clue about Freya left it for us right here. It's in the un it's not quite a photo, but still. Uh, if only she'd finished it, and then I could be totally sure. It's true she never finished. But she did intend. Meeting? We know more about the painting than what Freya actually got. Uh because we've got her colors she Freya picked. prepared all the colors she was going to There is no yellow paint. plant, ink dip feather, Flora's head. The whole time people have been talking about how it's weird that she didn't actually capture Flora's figure correctly, so I feel like it's something in here. Like, they said they made her look younger and stuff. I don't know. Oh, wait. Here, this one works. The yellow paint was going to be used to paint the sketch of something sitting in the window. Something in the window. That's not it. Oh, okay. There she is, our little thief. How long has it been? Did it hear? She before? did, but she's a very good listener. Oh, okay, so well, they're the now, same person. I think this has quite served its What? Penny, why did you It's Penelope, if you don't mind. But before we begin, isn't there a certain formality demanding our attention? I guess I guess I appreciate using my 
using the double cast as a purposeful thing instead of like, I really did just think, wow, they use the same VA. It's pretty <laughs> obvious. Uh. I'm afraid I have to insist. Lovely. Now, tell what was it that drove you this far? I'm ever so curious. I wanted to help Freya's friends. Is that right? Interesting. Why did you do it, Penny? What did Freya do to you? Absolutely nothing. So, what? You just hated her indiscriminately? Freya Fellow was an inspiration to us all. She was possessed great energy the volition to create something from nothing the willpower to walk beyond her boundaries she was truly free everything i couldn't be you know what i just realized i actually have no idea who penelope pointer really is weird isn't it considering we've met her what is it three times now exactly how do we know this one isn't a disguise, too? You think you've already hollowed us out, don't you? Only a few short hours at Tangle Tower. And you feel like you've got everyone sussed. Unearthed every single one of our secrets. Nothing but bullet points for your notebook. Go on, indulge me. What? does it say in your notes about Penelope Pointer? <laughs> Suppose I can't argue with that, can I? Penny, we only know what you choose to tell us, so why not help us out? Very well. Penelope Pointer is actually not very important at all. She pales in comparison to those who came before her and to those that came after. Living at Tangle Tower, it is very difficult to attain the levels of self-realization you probably take for granted. Um, you sure this is a Tangle Tower thing, and not a you thing? <laughs> Perhaps you didn't notice. Not one of them is happy. Not one. So, why stay? Why not just leave? I thought she did leave. Penny, you said you traveled, didn't you? I did. Many times I've walked away, it did not help me. You saw the family tree hanging in the Grand Hall, did you not? Yeah, it lists a bunch of people who don't live here anymore. A bunch of people who don't live here anymore. I couldn't have put it better myself. My mother, for one. My father, too. The other two, Remingtons. Poppy's mother, Primrose. And her brother, Richard. And Fitz's father. That's five. Five people that might have lived here, but don't. And that was the first question I wanted answered. You wanted to know where they'd all gone? More than that. I wanted to know if I belonged with them. I have no place here. Not among the Fellows, the Remingtons, or the Pointers. But I felt there must be a reason why everyone else left. Some common purpose they all shared. Perhaps it could be my purpose, too. So, what did you actually do about it? Nothing I could do, at first. Nobody would tell me anything. The more questions I asked, the fewer answers I got. Then, I found it. I was 19. Same age Freya is now. Found what? The study, the one hits right next to a bedroom. I'd hear voices, and the strangest thing, the wall behind my bed would get incredibly hot. For hours on end, paint would peel. Wall. I thought I was cursed. I thought it was so Eventually, I couldn't take it anymore. I found my way in the same way you did. Once you know it's there, it's simple. So, you got into the study and found the incinerator. That must have been a relief, right? It was still warm when I found it. 
Then, I looked inside. Let's see how thorough you've been. <laughs> Tell me. Uh-oh. Do you know what a misted is? Misted? Misteds? Sure, yeah. Hmm. The most Sorry. Good. It's a collective term. Birds, mm. insects, amphibians. Mutation can take several generations. Wait. Misteds. Like cryptids. Uh, like Bigfoot or whatever. A little egregious, isn't it? I suspect that was an intentional parallel. The main difference being mistids are perfectly real. They're just kept secret. Or at least, that was the original plan. As it happened, some got out. Quite a few got out. How do you know all this? When I entered the study at 19, I found a single object that rather changed my life. Something which answered my questions while at once creating all new ones. I would guess this. Or this. One of these two. I would have missed it for into the museum for experiments, but it works. No. No, it's not that one, I don't think. I mean, this is... This is strange. The five missing family yeah. members. Calling themselves... The ambassadors of Misted Mansion. So, the house was renamed from Misted Mansion to Tangle Tower? And rightly so. The age of Misted Mansion is long past. When I looked inside the incinerator on my first visit to the study, I found nothing but ash. The afterimage of a bygone era denied to me in its entirety. The study, the room at the bottom of the lake, the lake itself, all empty shells. I felt my only hope lay with the ambassadors. If I could find them, maybe, maybe they'd share the family history that Flora and the others were trying so hard to forget. How did you track them down? It was tough. They'd taken almost everything. Books, maps, charts. The creatures themselves, all lost. Taken away or destroyed. But I got lucky. I got a lead. I found one. And he led me to the rest. And? What happened? Why do you paint out all their faces? They didn't help you either, did they? Nineteen-year-old me had imagined they'd all left with a mission. A unified purpose. But they hadn't. They were, in fact, every bit as fractured as the people that still live here. Most of them had left tracking escaped mystics. Some claimed to be researchers, others little more than hunters. All five. Completely useless to me. Even your own parents? Eventually, I returned to Tangle Tower. I had nowhere else to go. I considered giving up. But instead, I made a decision. There was only one person at Tangle Tower still of interest to me. My dear Uncle Pointer had suddenly made a show of taking up astronomy. A fairly superficial charade, I don't think many people were fooled by it. But I knew it wasn't just a falsehood, it was a mask. Pointer had found something, something from the era of Miss Dimension. So where did he get the beetle? I cannot be sure. But I theorized that he received it in the post. In the post? From who? Who can say? Someone outside Tangle Tower. But the thought that he would be in contact with such a person. All that time, I decided to take what was owed to me. So you stole it. Stealing the beetle turned out to be only the first step. Upon realizing it was gone, Pointer made little effort to disguise his frustration. I asked what was bothering him. He foresaw no risk in sharing a little of the truth with his niece. He told me he'd lost a rare treasure, something he'd been keeping safe. I suggested, innocently, that perhaps it was not lost. Perhaps it had been stolen. He was very ready to believe he'd been the victim of theft. When I offered to call in a private detective, 
He jumped on the idea. She arrived the next day. Hawkshaw prides herself on her punctuality, as you know. Why, though? Why go through all that? The name, the costume, and everything? It's somewhat sad to admit, but I had a little use left for Penny Pointer as she was. Hawkshaw afforded me new advantages. Opportunities. But didn't you have to pretend to be working for Professor Pointer? Ah, uh, well, that was one of the advantages. Pointer was in such a desperate state, he was finally willing to share some of his secrets. On the second day, Hawkshaw explained she needed to be able to search the secret laboratory. Pointer gave in, and gave me the code for the harp statue. Reluctantly, but still. So... you stole Pointer's research? I would have done, if I'd found anything worth stealing. But he had made remarkably little progress, barely scratching the surface of the beetle's true mystery. Which is? Ha! <laughs> it carries an exoskeleton approximately 90% identical to gold. But it's not the 90% I'm interested in. Did you ever question what exactly makes the water here so unique? Before Misted Mansion was built over the lake. Before the lake was even a lake. Lord Remington and his wife built a small structure here. A research station, supposedly. Fast forward two or three generations, and as you saw for yourself, it's been mostly cleared out. The ambassadors took everything when they left. And everything they didn't take was burned in the incinerator. However, possessing additional insight, I found something the others had missed. It's not much, but I have what I need. So, why isn't this the end of the story? Why did you stay? Why did you kill Freya? Simply put, Freya was too good for me. It's my fault. I pushed her over the edge. Unknowingly, but still, I take the blame. What are you talking She looks like about? an evil Ronald McDonald. Did you McDonald. know I based the design for Hawkshaw on something Freya painted? That's right. I had assumed it was purely abstract. I just thought it had a good energy. I later discovered it was a figure of some kind. Something from Freya's recurring nightmare. For all her vitality. I think Freya was probably the most troubled of all of us. She was desperate to leave Tangle Tower, but she couldn't just walk away. For quite some time, she'd been trying to break into Pointer's laboratory. Freya and her friends were halfway through deciphering those symbols on the harp statue, I believe. Why did she care about getting into Pointer's lab? That's exactly what I wondered. At first, I thought perhaps she just wanted to free the beetles. She has a fondness for them. What Pointer was doing upset her significantly. But in fact, I think it was something else. I think she wanted to free Fiona. The real reason Freya was unable to leave Tangle Tower is that she could not get Fiona to agree to come with her. We're now firmly in the realm of speculation, but I think Freya felt that exposing the darker secrets of Tangle Tower not just to the rest of the family, but to the world, it would compromise all three families. And perhaps, somehow, free Fiona from the shackles of her inheritance. That was her plan anyway, but something happened before Freya could find her way into Pointer's laboratory. She found her way into your study, found your notes, found that photograph, I'm willing to bet she put it all together quicker than we did. So she worked out what had happened to the five ambassadors. Specifically, what you'd done to them when they refused to help you. Freya had made a promise to paint Flora as a birthday gift, a parting gift no less. She'd be in a locked room, several hours away from her friends. It was my best chance. 
But why hide in the attic? And why bother with the beetle at all? The beetle in the gramophone wasn't for Freya. It was for Flora. She didn't deserve to be involved. She suffered enough. I couldn't get Flora out of her room. But if she could be unconscious, then she wouldn't have to witness anything. Why the knife? The illusion of the painted knife with the blood. That was for Fiona. And Poppy too, I suppose. Gave them something to focus on. You mean it distracted them while you made your escape? It helped them cope. The very idea of something abstract. Something supernatural. I believe it made things marginally less painful for them, initially. Worked on you, too. So why are you still here? Why not take your first chance and leave? Ah, well, I've been waiting for an opportunity to get my beetle back. I'd really rather not leave without it. Wait, it's still here? It's still inside the gramophone. What's going Poppy, on? Poppy, they are both awake. I can see. You two all right? My head hurts. What happened to us? You were both unconscious. Fourteen minutes by my count. Really? You're both fine. No injuries. Was it the beetle? In the gramophone? I heard it through the ceiling in my room. The exact same sound we heard before the murder. I guess it must have been. So how did we get down here? What happened to Penny? It saved both of you. Obviously. When I reached Flora's tower, you were both unconscious, and Penny was crouched down beside you. She had her crossbow on her. But who knows? She may have just been checking you were both asleep. Did you know she, uh, that she was the murderer? Poppy and Fifi suspected her. Apparently, they were pretty close to solving it themselves. Fitz did not want to believe us, because he liked Penny a lot. But what happened? Fitz, what did she do when she saw you? She jumped out the window. What? Did she survive? She did. I heard something land in the garden outside my room. But by the time I got out there to check... She oh, she's holding... Gone. She's holding, hey, uh... uh Poppy, Penny's why bird do you hat. have Penny's hat bird? Yeah. <laughs> she left him behind. I found him sitting on the floor in the aviary. All by himself. Poor little thing. The mean lady didn't care about you at all, did she? No, she didn't. I apologize. Poppy seems to be under the illusion that the bird can understand human language. So, Penny got away. I'm afraid she did. We had suspected she might try to escape. I was stationed here by the lake's edge. I proved to be an ineffective guard. She took the boat. Did she take the beetle with her? Nope. How do you know? Because it's right here. It was still in the gramophone. I guess I scared her off before she had a chance to take it. Poppy, what are you going to do with it? Ow. Are you going to give it back to your father? No, I'm not. It doesn't belong to anyone. So, I'm going to put it on the ground and never bother it again. I think that's what she would have wanted. Was Josh Tomar. Oh, he did great. <laughs> That's it. She just gets away. Yeah, once you've when you played enough of this genre, the minute you get knocked out this late into the story, it's just like, oh yeah, all right, bad guy gets away then. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm used to this. Yeah, I like that. That was, uh, that was cute. 
I... I do think the villain's motivations are a little strange and boring. Um... See ya. It's also kind of a bummer we don't really get to, like, delve into the specifics of what the fucking lake water is and why it's bare at the bottom. Ooh, an art gallery. Uh, has anyone played this before? Is there a true end I missed? Look at this. Nope, that's the end. Okay. There's a couple prequels. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, motivation was a little weird. I I almost would have preferred if she was just crazy. <laughs> because I'm not sure I'm not sure that, um, what's her nuts? What's the victim's name? I'm not sure that Freya unveiling any of this would have even really run counter to what, God, I wish their names didn't all start with F, uh, what, what, what the bad guy was doing. I guess that she killed all the other founders, but it's, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, she definitely killed those five people. That kind of surprised me. Uh, that was weird. Okay. God, her design is so cool. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's just, it's kind of underwhelming because, and like, this is a nitpick because I really did enjoy this game. Um, I think it's kind of underwhelming for the villain's motivation to be the fact that she killed five entirely off-screen non-characters, none of whom's individual personalities or motivations we ever saw. I don't know how well that ties into this game's collective lore with the other installations of the franchise, but as an individual thing, it's a, it's a little lame. Apparently one was a murder victim in a previous game. Okay, okay. That would have made it better. I think this is the third one. Yeah, maybe I'll maybe I'll play the other games. Um God, this looks so cool. <laughs> wow. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, the art's good. Yeah, yeah, I, I kind of, and I, I mean, I guess she is just a little bit crazy, but it's just like, didn't you notice? No one is happy in this house. It's just like, then just leave. Like, no one really seemed to be that into the family rivalry, except like maybe the two dads, and even they were kind of light on it. And no one, and like, if, I don't know, if the daughter didn't want to take the house, then just be like, yeah, I own it, but, like, my parents live in it, and they keep the deed, and I leave. Like, you don't need to... I, I don't know. I, I know it's a, it's a nitpick, but that's, like, maybe the one thing I would say is not super satisfactory. 
I, I like the murder setup. I like the crossbow, and I thought this game's pacing was really good. I really liked, uh, I liked figuring out all of its business. That was good. We, we figured out pretty much everything before it asked us, but, like, in a way that wasn't too obvious, it was still satisfying, so that's pretty solid. The game design was really good, uh, easy to play. Felt like a hint that they couldn't leave because of a secret. That, but like, yeah, I don't think there really was a secret. It's just like, there are magic animals here. It's like, yeah, but no one in this house is like involved with them right now, except the crazy person. And she's kind of an outlier. So why is everyone else locking themselves here? I don't know. I didn't realize that I missed some of these. Oh, I love these. These are great. I hate how the family didn't really have anything to do with that. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Where did Felix go? How the heck did Freya leave them the soul bearer after she died? That's a good question. You know what? I think that was probably, uh, that was probably Poppy and... That was probably the two friends. One of them just left it there. They were working on it themselves because they were trying to solve it. You look like a Danny Phantom character. God, the art in this game is like wonderful. It's really, really good. <laughs> I love that look. But the handwriting was identical. What? Uh, yeah, but it, it it said um, it said hopefully you two can figure this out. So like they had it, but I think one of them left it there for some reason. Like every element of the mystery is good, except the motivation. Like all of the all of the like people being in certain places and certain twists out and the clues those were all good it's just that i like i, I kind of think they almost went overboard on the motivation in a way that made it dumb uh i think it should have just been like i don't know i hated her So tattoos are really annoying to animate. Ooh, whoa.
I feel like the victim was just giving the others to, uh reasons to live and be free and Penny should have just been jealous of that and that like the victim could finally be free in a twisted way through murder. I like that. That would have been enough for me. Like it's still a it's David Bowie scar. God, these are these are so good. These are so cool. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably eventually play the other two games. attorney. Yeah, I was I was more interested in this character when she was this woman, to be honest. Though I guess they Fitz did tell you that she was fake. Did she just run between two locations and quickly costume change? I think she was probably dressed as the detective upstairs, committed the murder, was the first person the dad heard walk down before Poppy got there. Yeah, she would have had to be. Um, then she, she was already dressed that way. She was going the wrong direction when the people saw her in the foyer. Then she walked outside and just disappeared because no one was looking for her detective form and then she just came back in dressed as herself. That's that's doable. Oop, my bad.
<laughs> this is really pretty. Ooh, I love that. Those are really cool. God, these are beautiful. I want to hire some of these people if I ever make a game. <laughs> This design better, to be honest. It's pretty cool, though. Pink! Oh, these are so nice. I will say, though, uh, the last game I played on here, which was uh, Jenny LeClue, which was also a pretty art-based investigation game, that one straight up doesn't have an ending. It's absolutely like a Jenny LeClue episode one, but they don't bill it that way, which is kind of uncool of them, to be honest. Yeah, I just I just don't really understand this this villain. Most of the other characters are good though. Good game. Give it like an 8 out of 10. Almost got a 9, but uh, villain motivation kind of stupid. That's really the problem with mystery games is like man do they have to stick that landing and it's real hard. Like Siv and I were enjoying the Professor Layton versus uh Phoenix Wright playthrough until the last case. At which point we decided we fucking hated that game. <laughs> uh, let me look. I'm sometimes looking, looking through chat. I tried Touch Detective. Touch Detective is written by an alien. Every puzzle in that game is insane. Okay. Pretty, 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 pretty. I still don't really understand why they burn shit in the basement. Also, was the implication that those people, like the five, still lived in the house while the bad guy was just sleeping on the other side? Like, were they still there? Because I thought they all went missing. Love 
drop that. Oh, look at how pretty this is. Oh my goodness. That's a fruit. Adults likely knew about the study. I don't think they did. I'm I'm pretty sure they mm, love that. I'm pretty sure the implication is that it was abandoned. This is a lot of bonus art. I'm impressed. This is a nice feature. This lamp. Wait, the bars on the pond and the roof were meant to keep the thing that was in the study trapped. Good catch. That's interesting.
God, I love these colors. I wanna, hang on, I'm gonna look this, this artist up. I wanna see if there's a place I can follow her. Catherine Unger. Yep, oh, these are lovely. Cool, if I ever actually sit down to work on jam uh, Jamboree, I'm gonna remember your name and I'm gonna ask what your rates are because I would like to hire you. Your work is very, very pretty. Last one. Clues. Just gonna. Oh my god, how is there this much? Alright, I won't make you guys watch all of this. I was kind of surprised by the second set of clues. appears to be this. Voices. Okay. Kimlin casts a lot of cool... I believe also cast a... Uh, fucking... God, I literally was just talking about it. Uh, Jenny LeClue, and the best part of that game is its voice work. Yeah, I thought, uh, I thought these two and Josh Tomar stole the show, honestly. Really good work. Music was really ex... Oh my god, you got an orchestra to do this? No wonder. Cool. Good game. Okay. Uh, I have... I have little more to say. I'd give that an 8. Solid little experience. Ending wasn't even bad. It's just that one element of it I thought was a little weird. Um, Let's... What about the flower petals? Ah, it was just, it, it was nothing.